Oh, all right, we are live. We are live. Happy Thursday. We're going to be faffing about today, so we'll just be doing all sorts of random things. I figured, why not hop on in and play some old classic point and click games? Of course I miss you, darling. Ah, and I just noticed that this is the there's an awful lot of. I'm going to have to be very cautious because my. Uh, and, uh, I guess load up the. Uh, the thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Oh, got a change. Already loading up my phone. Ah, something strange is going on. Darling, I got some work to do. There we go. What the heck is that? It's a comet. It's the end of the world. Actually, that technically, yeah, that's a. Uh... Get on in here, Pete. You got us a big old asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. Technically, given how the size of space is, we would kind of know something was going to hit us well, well, well before three weeks. The asteroid has been named Attila, after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with... Let's see here, I want to... There you go, text speed. It's a little bit slower. There we go. Yeah, so this is the last hope of the human race. Then it'll have to do the job. Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Luke Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. Oh yeah, he's not wrong now, there. I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known so, yeah, in the world. Depending on the size of uh, the Maggie, object. You're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. Yeah, I'll have to comment after they stop talking. It's a bit difficult to talk more. over them. But during the mission, At least for me. The hey, how's it going? That may be the biggest news story of all. I've never Thank actually read the novel. And here's the question. What came first? Did the novel come first, or did the game? Hey, smile. How's it going? Is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow. Right now we're playing the dig. A bit difficult to comment though over. Thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. He's the everyman. I don't have to be bright. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. <laughs> Any parting message? Could you imagine are... Congress nowadays? Yeah, like, exactly oh no, a comet's coming. One of the very that bright, right. uh, one of the very bright senators is going to go members. help with it. Ooh, I have a feeling most of Congress nowadays, if something like a comet was coming, they would just bugger off, get on a rocket, SpaceX, and go somewhere else. Man, this was a very high-budget game for the time, wasn't it? Like, this is a very... Oops, there it is. Based on a concept by Steven Spielberg. There we go. 
Okay, that explains a lot. That explains an awful lot. All right, all right. So, yeah, yeah. I. Low here. Come oh, on out one here. second. The water's fine. Robin's here. Going independent. Yeah, that would be very horrifying. I I know that. Uh, they do this in space quite frequently, space. but it still doesn't change the fact that it's still. Don't bump well, in. I don't think I could do this. I really don't. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Frank here, going independent. I didn't know Steven Spielberg worked on this, or it was based on a concept that he developed. That's actually very intriguing. It kind of makes me want to read Howdy, more Frank. up about the story. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy be. Professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squid. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? Oh, that's actually kind of funny. I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. Why is she part of the landing team? Alright, finally we can play. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember when this game came out. It was so fun. I, it didn't do very well, if I recall, because it's a it's a very different game. Hey, Anime Knight, how's it going? All right, so let's see here. We have our payload, our tool set. Let's go in there. It's the pig. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. All right. That just means we have to. Oh, tool chest. Yeah, let's get in there. It's the pig. Oh, yeah. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm. Okay, let me get out of the way then. And let's go ahead and contact to get it removed or have them shoot it out. Oh, hey. We have a game within a game. I remember that. This is, should be Lunar Lander. Okay, there you are, Miles. Load a payload over. Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. <laughs> Alright. Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Yeah. Is the crew clear of the area? Yeah, this is quite an Growing epic clear. game, actually. Proceed. This is a very fun game, too. Let's see how thing. All right, there we go. And everything fine with the pig, Cora? Now I have a good question. I would actually love to know because, as you can see, the you just be good the majority of what we see here are all sprites. We're using the Scum engine to run this, and Scum did not have 3D model capabilities so all of this that we see here are actually just 2d sprites or pictures so to get that arm to move around like they did i'm wondering did they do what they did like with the donkey kong where they had the arm move up or they animated it with a 3d modeling system and then just backported it into sprites it might explain the size of this game because this game uh, the game is actually pretty big I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Rotoscoped? That's wrong. Oh, well, I mean, because. Well, be because rotoscope it. Maybe. But we'll this came out soon. after Donkey Kong for the Super Trying Nintendo. The so the technique of converting 3D models oh, well. to 2D sprites was a very. Com yeah, that happened. Alright, I should be able to get into the pig now. Arming key. Yeah, they should have. Come on, flying pig. Hey, XO, how's it going? We are having fun playing. There we go. Now we can get in there. All right, I want that. I want that. And I want that. There we go. Right now we're playing the dig. There we go. Oh, oh, and we need a shovel. 
Always need a shovel. And my dog. Shh, quiet. This, you don't even know what you're barking at. Stop it. All right, first things first. We'll go to quadrant two. Doing well, doing well. Nice and sunny today, which is quite nice. Always nice to have a nice sunny day. Ah, here we go, target surface. Let's go ahead and clean it up. Point and click games were always my jam. I can remember when I first, the very first point and click game I played was Loom. At least that's the one that I remember the most is Loom. Which is, happens to be also a game made in Scum. It was made by LucasArts. And then I just fell in love with the concept nice of Loom that I had to end up playing that and Monkey Island. And then I proceeded to try and find every other game. I wish they continued Loom. Oh, I believe the Alpha one goes here. There we Shuttle, go. This is low. We're placing the explosive in Quadrant 2. All right. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this brink? I'll be right there, Commander Lo. Yeah, yeah. Loom was so fun. Monkey Island. And I can remember this when this came out. I ended up playing do, um, The Dig Excellent. about around the same time I ended up playing Kent, the charge a full set. throttle. Instant so, confirmed. lots of fun. Hey, I'm just so proud of you. Full I, I think I beat Full Throttle much, much later because I got stuck in the worst possible location, which is the bike fights. In this one, I ended up, uh, I, in this one, I ended up beating, but I did have to use a guide at a certain point. I didn't get understand some of the logic. Boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. All right, time to go to the next quadrant. PC kept crashing. Ah, that sucks. For me, I remember it was... Oh, I always had trouble with completing some of the missions in... Oh, we need to continue going. Uh, Alright. There's a boulder in the way. To the shovel. Aha! Shovel it away. Kent, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. It's a very Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero G under maximum thrust conditions. No, no, it's because we couldn't actually beat the fights. They were I remember that part. The fights were just uh, some of the fights were just a pain in the butt. We couldn't figure out how to get the equipment from... Yeah, I remember I could never get the equipment from the guy who was always down... You know, it was the bad guy who was always on the crouching bike. Either way, either way, I ended up playing it much... I ended up beating that ver uh, that game much later. If this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Yeah, you might want to get out of the way. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. All right. Never had trouble Looks with like Grim Fandango, though. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is. You can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. Ah, that's actually a very subtle. I, I like that. I like I have that. The same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. I just think someone's going to. Pick her up. <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig and man. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Very true, very true. There we go. Actually, um... I just, just tried to comment a bit. 
Uh, that very subtle commentary that the person mentioned is a very it's like an innocuous way to try and provide Audi, information to people who do, don't often play point and kick click games good game design good game design oh I think actually we don't need the we can now put this what's this here this is low. yep there we go all right now placing the explosive on the base of the yeah it's very fun it's very fun three. because in point and click games it, the whole goal is to pick up everything. You pretty much you pick up everything and then rub them to get rub them with everything else to see what works. In good point and click games, the logic makes a whole lot of sense to the point where you're like, oh, okay, that means I should be very e I should be able to do this very easily. In bad point and click games, the logic is so moon brained or so they don't make any sense that ultimately you just start rubbing two things together. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now. Again. Like Monkey Island is a fantastic game because Stick it doesn't have a lot of moon, you know, moon leaps. Right you can figure it out pretty Commander. easily. I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Ah, fun banter. Okay, let's get out of here before it explodes on us. Okay, now that we've done that, let's talk to the people. Talk to you, right? Load a payload over. Miles here. All right. How can they be so sure the surface won't be radioactive after the explosions? Oh. Well, the theory is that without an atmosphere and with so little gravity, most of the radioactive material will be blasted off into space, and almost none of it will settle in the safe quadrants. Well, kind of, yes. That is the uh, general idea. But is the theory right? Hey, you're the guy in the cute suit. You tell me when it's all over. You'll know they were wrong if my coffin blows. Uh... Don't worry, boss. My baby's down there monitoring the surface. Oh, yeah, the pig. Hopefully the pig won't... Okay, anyway, let's see here. We've done that, we've done that. We don't need to say anything. So what we need to do is... Low out. Let's see here. We now need... Uh, you, Not you two. We already have set both of them up. Load aboard. Do you copy? Like carbon paper, boss. All right. They're ready. Both nukes are in place and armed. Yeah. We made pretty good time, I think. Hmm. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Yeah, I definitely recommend if you if you are very Everybody interested in inside. logic games, the te uh, the point and click core. games from the classic era are they're great options. They're great, great options. All the stuff from the Scum Engine, so Lucas Arts before they changed their name. All of the games from Sierra are quite good. Well, Strong Bad is a fun game, yes. The games from Telltale Games, they try to go back to the roots of point and click, and for a couple of them, they actually did a very good job at it. I mean, I just went back through and played all of Season 1 of Sam and Max, and it was great to play it on the computer. Probably should play it on something different because the executables I have are a bit wonky. But yeah, the Telltale games are very fun. Yeah, yeah. The problem is, is you have to set it in compatibility mode. It's very, Let's see very, very curious, because... Like Alright, here we are. Be careful, kids. Attila is more than just a 
more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Yeah, just looking at the size of the explosion versus compared to the size of the asteroid, I don't think that the explosions would have done much. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. So what was what came first, the game or the book? Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. And have it collapse on us, maybe? That, that sounds like a very dangerous thing to happen. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I like the music. I've called very the epic music. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. They were made at the same time. Interesting. So that sounds an awful lot like. Oh, what was that movie called? Titan AE. There's a, there's a movie called Titan AE that was released by our good friend who did uh, American Tale, Five Go uh, American Tale, the Don Bluth. There you go, Don Bluth. I remember his name. The he Don Bluth made a movie called Titan AE, and he released a couple books alongside it. But the books covered different elements of the overarching story. So it was kind of like a, me, a, you know, one of these media, or large media things where you had a, you could experience it in all different mediums. I think they were developing a game, but they ultimately canceled that because the movie didn't do too well. Tunnel's been here for a while. Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here. Oh, we should go check those out. Head on down. Odd projections. Let's go. Oh, actually, here's the, the odd projection we're talking about. I think you're right, Brick. The stone projection is unnatural. Yes, but what is it doing here? Uh, we should dig it out. Get our diggy hole thingy. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm going to dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Hey, at least we're not getting uh, we're really not getting pushback. Look at this, Brick. This can't be natural. Hey, it's a triangle. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact. Oh. We found aliens. Could have put something like this in a tunnel. Yes, yes. I think it's clear. I'm s it's a bit of a shame Wherever that that's not tunnel, being done nowadays. There there. Could this be part of some kind of message? It's it's infuriating what actually when you point? see the state of adaptation. Nope, nope, nope. We found Thank aliens. You, we found aliens. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's it happen it happens a lot in anime, where it's happening in anime, it's happening in comic books, it's happening in manga. Like, my instructions are clear. For some, it's even happening. I know it's not happening much with games, right but when you see games get translated to a different medium, they try to keep a lot of the points that are within the game without, instead of just adapting it, which is, is nothing to be it's a bit premature. surprising and a bit depressing, actually. I want to have more stories or newer stories. Ken, Ken, low here. 
I read you, boss. Oh. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Ward. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately after. It does, it does. It, oh, it, cool. This is like a secret code. <laughs> it's fun that he's the only one who knows this. We just discovered we aliens. Here, yeah, I like the music. Oh, Alright, let's continue looking around. I think, um... Oh. But yeah, yeah, it, it's it's infuriating with the current state of, you know, media, because... If I read the manga, I would like to see it adapted into an anime, which would complement the an you know how animation and such but that's not what's happening in some cases the manga is being used as the storyboard panels and then they'll just adapt it straight into what the anime looks like or into the anime again they're using them as storyboards uh -oh. and they've tr they were trying to do that with comic books in fact if you look at I mean back then they would all they would actually do adaptation which was very very nice but they just don't do it now yeah true it, it, it seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates we wouldn't be able to push them oh all right I think we, let's see here let's look around and see there should be some more Let's see, where's the... Oh, oh. Find the pixel. Here we go, odd projection. We should clear this one out, too. Oh, my. There we go. Yeah, I mean... It's, another metal it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I wish there were some sort of inscription. This one's a big boy. All right, let's go ahead and push this one. Here's number three. I think there should be like four of them, right? It disappeared too. All right, let's see here. Where's this? L oh, there's the pig. There, there. Odd projection. Found it. Let's clear that one up too, and then that should be good. There we go. All right. Three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Oh yeah, we now let's go ahead and push this plate. Here's the last one. There we go. Well, we've done it. Whatever it is we did. Now we head on into the dark tunnel. Okay, yeah, all right. So while we're while we're busy doing, so yeah, um, it is quite annoying when it comes to translation. I know that you want to have a one-to-one -one translation for some things because of the fact that when you do have that translation, you'll know that you can get the an intent from the authors. Oh wow, th this is very cinematic. This, I wonder. I would actually, I wish I could actually dig into the code. The fact that should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we look around. Sounds good. Let's let's go up this way. Go to the pedestal. Oh, here are the four items. Let's go grab them. And we'll put you here. There we go. Grab you. 
And we'll put you there. Grab you. And one left. And there we go. Alright. But yeah, when it comes... It's very fun because when we talk, uh, when I talk about with translation, especially here being in Hong Kong, you quickly come across a lot of inconsistencies that could end up showing up. I'm moving. Oh yeah, we're definitely moving. Okay, all right. Turn the audio down just a wee bit. There we go. All right. Okay. So yeah, translations. An example. I I brought it up many year uh, many months ago, but a perfect example is king of the uh, you know the king of the animal kingdom. In the states, in the west, it's considered a lion, but that's not the case in Asia. Or yeah, it's not the case in Asia. So if you did a direct literal translation of a work which said the king of the yeah, the king of the animal kingdom has come to visit. Then, yeah, it's going to be radically different between what the West thinks and what the East thinks. So you have to decide. Do you do a direct translation, which is what a lot of people keep talking about? Well, let's see here. What's going on here? There's gravity. Oh, yeah. I think more along the lines of, is there anything in here? Well, actually, it's been fu it's been a little bit entertaining learning about, you know, because when you start learning about pathology and all these things, you can quickly pick up on that. Yeah, this. I don't think so. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, he's, they're actually going to bring talk, bring it up. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Oh, this is actually a smart game. Like a very smart game. I mean, yes, they probably could find a way to take us apart, so that is something that we have to be concerned of. And you never know the one-to-one -one exactly, but when it comes to biology. But he is very accurate. There's billions and billions of viruses and bacteria that exist that we probably can't even fathom on Earth. But because they're highly specialized, they cannot surprise, infect us. Surprise. This is one reason why you'll hear people say you have bacteria. You know, you, you have like 99.99% of bacteria on you. Uh, you know, they, they're just there because they, they can't infect us. They can't um, interact with us. They're very specialized to focus on you know, something else. After so years of bad TV shows and crackpots of phony pictures, Oh. Here is the real proof. Yep. We have aliens. Yes, alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. Load a payload. Over. Yeah, I'd say Actually, it's quite fun. I'm a bit surprised that. I wonder, is this game in. Is Dune. Or, I mean, it's not, not Dune. Is Dig in. Is it in, like, copyright hell? Because. We had a remake of Grim Fandango. And we had a remake of. Okay, I shouldn't say remake. It was a remaster. There was a visual update to Full Throttle, to Grim much. Fandango, to the Two Monkey Islands. I'm wondering if the oh, dig is also has also received that treatment. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah. For the it. It might not be non. It might not be very profitable, but it still might be worth, you know, for preservation reasons. You know, could you imagine the entire Lucas Arts collection all remastered? I mean, they even did Day of the Tentacle. Like so many of these games have had visual updates, so I'm wondering if they ever did that with this one. But yeah, translation, translation. You become. 
Where are you going, Law? We're gonna wander around and have a look. I was gonna check for water. Some don't, you're right. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. And then follow me. Fine. Follow me. <laughs> oh this boy. Is no longer a spaced expedition, Law. Hey, Poppy, how's it going? This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Very, uh... Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. This is actually quite well written. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. So far, the characters have not our said anything or done anything that makes me think, oh... Yeah, yeah, you together, have, uh, you have moon brain. This mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Yeah, I could definitely see this conversation happening, and, uh, if Boss something like this happened. Baker. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. Alright, sounds good, sounds good. Good luck with work, Poppy. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Howdy, howdy. All right, now let's start exploring. So let's see here, we have... All right, we have a lot of question marks. Actually, I kind of like the minimalistic gooey. Because in Monkey Island, in they used to have they had they used to have this big giant square at the bottom with all of the different commands. I know that they tried to simplify that with full throttle, but this I think they simplified it even more. Fantastic. Look. Ooh. More proof of alien life. That actually looks very nice. Anything alive? It looks like it's from Star Trek. It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. This is gone. That's a very good. <laughs> again, again, this is actually quite good writing. Now we go back. I remember when I played this when I was younger. I didn't think about these types of things. I was just more interested in the story and the progression of the plot. But now that I'm a bit older, I'm just looking at it like, okay, then, what would, how would one react re properly Can respond in a situation like this? And from the interior of their ship? yeah, it seems like it's. They make a lot of sense. All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Oh yeah. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. Oh, let's see here. There's a chest. Actually, I'm a bit surprised that we know that it's a chest. Let's look at this and see what's in here. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. Yeah, what is it? Brink. Oh. Well. Never mind. Come on, Brink, get out of the way. I want to see what this is. When we get back, oh, shh. The engineer is going to have a field day trying to figure out how this You don't even know what you're barking at. No, no. Yeah, what is this? Alien technology and conveniently portable. How about you, Maggie? What do you think? It oh, Robbins. Piece of equipment from the ship. Okay, we'll just hold on to it then. And let's go ahead and see this wire. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off with the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Again, again. They're act the characters are acting quite reasonable. That was a joke, yes, but at the same time, it is quite a, like, electrical current might still be flowing through it, so...
changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, do it again. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship, it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. Why? Wow, you say it so callously. <laughs> it, it could have been very important information, like, you know, do not drink the water, you'll have the runs for days. Actually, that is one thing that I could comment Did on. Did any of you see... Was this here before that thing appeared? Oh yeah, he is definitely a military type. He is definitely one. You think an electrical field can carry a solid object? All right. Okay, I think that's everything here. Let's 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 head on out. Yeah, thinking about it, that is one concern one would have to have on an alien on an alien planet. While the organisms most likely would have, because your biologies would be radically different, then it would just be you bumping into, you know, the bacteria bumping into you and you bumping into the bacteria. But if you do ingest it and it gets into your digestive system, it is possible that your body might go, oh yeah, I see something that my, I see a foreign entity. It really depends. It really depends. But creatures too. Oh, hey, rats. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. Oh, yeah. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Markers. What kind of a markers? Grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Let's see here. Actually, we never actually looked at this. What is this pointing at? It's indicating to the left of me. Maybe over here? Something's looking at me. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's because of the rats in there. Let's try this again. It's indicating to the left of me. Ah, okay. So we, it still wants us to go. Either way. All right. I guess let's continue going to the let's continue going to the left then. Probably to this area here. Ooh, a cliff. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? <laughs> oh, I wonder how a, a much la or a much less. Oh, it seems to be pointing at this mound. Oh, okay, to the shovel. Yeah, I wonder With how a much a not so mound, experienced writer would have written something, something like this. Here. Because as I said, so far, in the first, oh. How scientific of your command. 30 minutes or so. It's been very... You know, the characters have been not uh, been acting quite logical, and a lot of it's been making a lot of sense story progression-wise. It's quite fun. Your instinct is failing, Commander. The hole you've bulldozed here is quite useless. I'm going to say that. It looks like there's something there. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. Yep. There it is right there, whatever it is. It looks like a bracelet. Now let's see, what is this? Hey, what do you think this of it? This artifact is very delicate. It looks like it may be useful as well as ornamental. And what about you, Robbins? What do you think? I wearing it, but it's too small for my wrist. I don't think I would want to put on 
I don't think I would want to put on any alien technology that I don't know what it is. You never know, maybe this might be a, uh... Well, it has a... It, this device points to it, so it's a tr obviously for tracking. Let's go back here. Oh. There it is again. I think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? I don't think so. We knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something, or show us something. Yeah, the fact that all three of you saw it at the same time tells you it's not a mirage. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive, or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship, and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? <laughs> or the port authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly, or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. Yeah, that, the last thing you want to do is stress yourself out about things you don't know. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. Ooh, interesting. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Oh, the writing is so good. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. I will say that they're quite... I will say the one thing I could probably argue is, is that they're awfully, awfully calm for the situation they're in. But you could probably argue it's because there's, they're, all three of them are professionals in their field the experts in their field and they're in a very foreign situation so yeah, the best thing that they can try and do is remain home. calm <laughs> the utterances of experts all right let's let's go ahead and dig the ground is soft here which is a bit loose. Yeah, that. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. That means you guys should move. It might be dangerous. Yeah, let me see. It might be a bit dangerous, so you might want to. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. All right, here, you can have the shovel. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. I wonder how many... Just be careful. Actually, maybe if uh, I want to do any digging outside, I might need to pick up a little bit of my these things. Last thing I want to do is dig my, or my start digging and fall down a giant hole. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. I wonder if that's sarcasm. A bit difficult to say, because he is dig. He I mean, he knows what to do with a shovel. No, it's completely. I can't. No. Oh. Brink! I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Ooh, poor Brink. Me. Why does it feel like he just had... 
It looks like he had a, concu a concussion. A Brink. Lost him. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. And then you'd be dead. Then you'd be the dead one. Hey, okay. <laughs> it was my responsibility to. To die? No. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. Yeah, if you were digging, you probably would have met the same fate. I mean, the but whole... I, it looked Brink like the ground literally collapsed under him. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. That's actually probably a very bad idea. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I understand game-wise. Well, technically he did. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Oh. Why? Because we're safer together? Well, technically. Ask Brink about that. That's not a fair maybe comparison. I don't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. That's a very good step point. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao, sayonara, Avidar Zane. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action. And you don't have a command. There's just you and me, and we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. You gotta like the snark. Then, oh, you gotta like the snark. Ciao, sayonara, Avedersang. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Alright, now we can start wandering around. Hey, we got the shovel at least. Sorry, Brick. I guess... I guess we'll just leave you... Uh, I guess we'll just leave him there. Let's start walking around. Oh, hey, plants. Probably wouldn't hurt too. Oh, touch him. Oh, hey, they responded. Seem to draw energy from my body and disperse it among all the plants. Yeah, that means don't touch it again. If, if you share a common root system. If they're going to suck out energy, uh, they're going to suck out energy from you, then if you sit on it, you're going to become a corpse. So I recommend not doing that. Ooh, I wonder... I wonder how most people would respond in a situation like this. In anime, usually the protagonists, they just figure everything out and everything starts going it's their way. Here. And it's glowing down. And that looks like a ooh. That's a bit um ten to one it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch. Alright. Or the plug. Or the fuse box. Or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. <laughs> uh, a jukebox and a cold beer or just a starship headed for home get a grip Boston oh the writing okay I'm gonna have to look up later did this is based off of a concept by Steven Spielberg did he work on more 
than the, just that. Did he actually work on the writing, some of the writing as well? Because, again, again, it's Nothing quite. Happened. Oh, I wonder what. I wonder why. Maybe I can use a shovel on it. It won't accomplish anything. You don't know that. This is a oh another control panel. Oh. All right, button. Whoops. All right, let's see here. Ah, okay. I think we're going to have to set so get some power going. Nothing seems to be... This panel doesn't seem to be working. And that one's not working either. So let's go see if we can find anything. Oh. Hey, we just found something. A blue crystal. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and take that with us. I don't know if I turned anything off, but... Alright. Oh, hey, another, another rod. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? A bludgeon. Could be some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. Uh, of course the the military man's gonna think things weapons. Uh, actually, this game kind of makes me want to play Tunic. Oh, hey, a plate. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Actually, that makes me wonder, are there more around here? We have one. Let's see here. Are there any other plates? I'm guessing that it's going to go here. Oh yeah, plate right there. There we go. So we need three more. All right, let's see where we, if we can find them. Oh, will you stop barking? Shh, be quiet. Nope. Oh, my dog won't start barking. He he he's, he feels very barky today. I, let's go into the tunnel. All right, let's go into the tunnel. I wonder what's at the end of the tunnel. That is... I'm very curious about... Because... So being a biologist at trade, I'm kind of looking around at the different uh, life, and I'm trying to... For instance, there's a whole lot of these plants that we see littered throughout the tunnel and cave. So I'm trying to think, what is its primary food source? Apparently because it takes energy from other living creatures, it's probably like parasitic or something. You fall in it, and then it sucks you dry. So now I'm trying to think, well, what kind of animals would that be? We did see some rodents, so maybe the rodents are the plant's food source. Hey, what's this? Um, this looks like a class 3 containment system. Oh, can I... Air it, yeah, airlock. Can I push the button again? Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I maybe. This looks like a command center. I'd be a bit more. Wor Are you sure, command center? This looks like it would be quarantine. Yeah. So, to give kind of a little bit of a perspective in biology, uh, particularly in research, you have different levels of containment when it comes to what you're working on. 
it goes from one to four. And the reason why these are established is because of safety reasons. If you're a, it, it pretty much is a way to tell you what you need in order to be as safe as possible when doing research. Level one is the most basic. Like it's pretty much wear a lab coat, wear some, yeah, wear a lab coat and uh, wear some goggles, and you're good. Level two, which is what I was mostly working in, it means that there are some agents that are within the lab that could be potentially dangerous. So sometimes you'd have to wear a mask. It has a lot of windows. There's an undersea tunnel. But yeah, sometimes you'd you need to wear a mask. You would have to be careful, so you have to be wearing protective eye uh, goggles for like light or something. And there were agents uh, around that you potentially could be toxic, so you'd have to be cautious with those. Stage three is much more serious, where you'd actually have to start wearing more of the hazmat type suits. It's not super serious. Hey, Margie, how's it going? Yeah, it's not super. So oh, we have crystals. That one's not. That one's not lit up. I, I wonder if we can use this. That won't fit. That won't fit. It won't accomplish anything. Oh, all right. Where all the crystals meet. It's an energized crystal. Yeah, so can I... This crystal is lifeless. Okay. I need to go look for something else. This crystal is lifeless. This crystal is lifeless. Oh, yes, I know that crystal's li lifeless. Let me get out. There we go. Okay, let's go out to the airlock. Oh, yeah, they added the ability to double-click, which is very nice. But, yeah, stage three is you're going to have to start wearing a lot more protective gear. You would be wearing all, pretty much, you, most when you see in research, they wear all of these white coats. They have the double gloves. They're wearing constantly wearing a face mask. And they have a lot of protective gear. That's stage three. And those are usually hosted for infectious agents that can be transmitted among humans. So if you're working with something like a virus, then you would be in a stage three. Now, if, or, or if you're working with, yeah, if you're working for a bacterium or a virus, you most likely be in stage three, especially for those that are infect humans. Now, if you are, okay, I think. All right, I'm gonna go out, since. If you remember, there's an area over here that I didn't mess with. I'm gonna go mess with it. Maybe I might find something there. Yeah. Brink was right here in the middle. There's absolutely look how far this hole goes. Yeah, there, there's there is no way we could have. Yeah, Houston, if you thought that you could prevent yourself from dying from like that, then you think you're Superman. Okay, let's go ahead and dig these up. This might take a while. But yeah, so. Class, that's class three. So class four is extremely toxic, extremely dangerous, extremely infectious diseases. So this case, you'd have to wear an actual full hazmat suit. You have to go through an airlock uh, in order to enter and to leave. You have to be disinfected when you go in and out. Oh, oh there's just tusks and bones. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. That's not the case with most bones. Oh wait, hey, a jawbone. Was this the skull of a sentient being? In fact, it was. Pet. Oh, that's actually or a good a question. Of burden. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. These are very good questions. I would have argued, yeah, it would be something sentient because it was buried. But then, yeah, people actually do bury their pets. <laughs> They actually give them little graves, too. Yeah, definitely in the States. In Hong Kong, everything gets cremated. But... I digress, I guess. Let's... Actually, we have a pokey... We have a tusk. Maybe I can use that now somewhere. Maybe down here? Oh, oh I know. This... Let's push the triangle button. Nothing happened. All right, let's put this back in there. Okay, so now we have this on. Oh, let's mess with this. How about we go that, that.
Okay, I think that's good. Let's push the button. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, we got it working. Okay, so that means... Ah, okay, so... Yeah, it's pretty obvious. This is to control that movement. This is clear all. This is go back. And this is the directions, and most likely this means function. So we'd want to go down, down, maybe over a couple times, grab, and up a couple times, and then let's see how that works. So yeah, the fact that he went into an area like that, it's like, oh, it's perfectly fine. I'm like, uh, oh, hey. Hey, that worked out. Well, kinda. Now, oh, now what? But yeah, yeah. Um, the fact that he saw that double area and the fact that it kind of, you know, it sealed off like that. The very first thing I would think is not. Okay, yeah, we should probably change this. The first thing I would not think is, oh, it's a control room. The first thing I would think is. I might have been infected with something extremely dangerous. That looks like a quarantine zone. Alright, so I guess we'll go one, two, three, four, because it was what, four over and maybe two up? Maybe three up. Let's try that. If you look, it's pretty obvious something's not right down here. See? the This one right here that I'm trying to aim for, yeah, that one. Oh, okay. Not close enough. That one is not pointing and everything is pointing towards the center except for the one on the left. So let's see here. Maybe we'll go over one more. We'll go up four and then try. There we go. Swimming class. That sounds very fun. That sounds very, very fun. It is warming up here in Hong Kong. Soon I'll be soon we'll be I'll be able to head to back to the swimming pool and start swimming again. Oh hey, hey. Is that working? Yeah, there we go. It worked. Alright, we solved the problem. You can even hear it now, it's working. Okay, up we go. Hopefully something's changed. I mean, we did comment earlier that because we're in an alien environment, the odds of the organisms caught wreaking havoc on you are little to none because they're... Oh, yeah, that's... Don't touch that. Actually, let's... Oh, looks like everything's working now. Well, let's look at it first. When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. Oh, yeah, it looks dangerous. It looks live. Yeah, touch touch that and you'll be electrocuted. There's a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. Question is what kind of energy? Is it electromagnetic? Is it are we just kind of you know, lighting things up to show off that it's energy? Oh don't touch the plants. You don't know where they've been. The fact that it can the fact that it can take energy out of you means that they're very, very dangerous. Okay, I think now uh, maybe we should start looking at the doors. Panel. Alright. So most likely it's these things. It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. All right, what about this one? All right, square, diamond, blue circle, blue, or blue sphere, blue sphere. All right. Let's see, diamond, and then now we want to go to the blues. Oh, I wish there was a better way to select these. Actually, can I go the, no, I can't go the other way. It's only one way, all right. Horrible interface. Aliens, you need to work on your design. Oh, this it worked. Alright. 
So what is through this door? Yeah, that's a good question. Let's check it out. A death trap? A mad scientist with a pretty girl and a talking robot? An alien cafeteria? That would be kind of nice. Why am I just standing here? <laughs> I think you've gone After crazy. All, as Brink found out, the worst thing that can happen is you can take one wrong step and you're dead. Hey, you're alone. The, the You're alone on an alien planet. I mean, the person that you came with has kind of buggered off, so... so much for Why not talk to yourself? Idea. Yep. Food. Oh. Are you there? All right, what do you want? Use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. Boston, you won't believe where I am. I'm in a place filled with alien technology, the most fantastic things I've ever seen. Oh. And the machines are working. Oh, kind of. Don't go to the one in the back. I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Hey, Colton, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. Right now we're having fun going through the dig. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Very correct. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. Oh. Uh. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. Yeah, yeah, this is an old point-and-click game from LucasArts. The game, it you came out in, you. I think, the early 2000s? Yeah, around yeah, that time. I think insane. around that time. Actually, when did this come out? But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. It's probably good then that that didn't happen. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. Let's see here, the dig. When did I you come out? Just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. 1995. There we go. The game came. Hey, it is on Steam. Uh, Maggie. Good work. Thanks, Boston. Oh, yeah, this came out in 1995. So it's an old, it's quite a retro game. Almost, oh wait, 1995. That means this game is almost 30 years old. Oh, wow. I remember when this came out. Oh, am I old. All right, let's see here. I guess we push the big red, the big blue button. Two years older than me. Yeah, it's quite crazy to think, isn't it? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it can tell you it just tells you how old I am. I, as I said, I remember when they were advertising the release of this game, so that tells you I was old enough that I can have functional memory. So. Uh, Ooh. Hamster balls. All right, so let's see here. Where are we? Now I know what my pet hamster felt like. I mean, uh, I think the. I'm going to take that that he actually really enjoyed going in that. Actually, if it was me, I would probably sit in that for at least like 10, 15 minutes just going in circles because it's a very interesting experience. It looks like it would be a very interesting experience. Oh, hey. Oh, water. To the water. Hey, we have water. Plenty of water here. Oh, yeah. If it's drinkable, then we won't die right away. We'll have plenty of time to starve to Oh, he's ripped. Oh, hey, uh, what is that? Oh. Okay. 
All right, so I guess now we... So that's a bit dangerous. So yeah, moral of the story, don't uh, don't go near the water. So now we know they have carnivores here. That just makes this place even more dangerous. I mean, they could kill us and eat us, but they'll probably give them indigestion. Unless they... Unless they can... They get very, very curious. Very, very curious. There's a... Because when you talk about... Li oh, hey! How's it going? Another ghost. Yeah, I wonder what Last he was showing off. Pointed the way down into the Nexus. Of course, that's how Brink died. Yeah, and it just kind of went off that way. Maybe he wants us to fall off the cliff. Hey. All right, let's push the button. All right. Well, we did something. Oh, hey. Hey, we just created a light bridge. Oh, hey. That sounds quite fun, XO. I will have to play uh, in a bit. Oh, hey, crystal. It doesn't look safe to walk there. And it doesn't look like there's anything else we can look at here. All right, we go. But fun. So there's five spire. Ah, um, if you remember earlier, we saw five crystals. I think I might know what the, I think I, I think I might know what they stand for. However, this does all beg the question, where the hell are we? We're surrounded completely by water. Okay, let's head to the spire. All right. In we go. A bunch of displays. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Inscriptions here and there. I'd say it looks like some kind of museum. Maybe. It could be. Oh, hey, glowing crystal. Let's grab it. Strange glowing crystals. Oh yeah, I wonder what these are. Tablet, tablet. What's the tablet say? Symbols written on a plate. Looks like an alphabet. I think I was walking on light. Hey, I wonder what the tablet's for. Anyway, let's go up here first. Oh yeah, I... They're nerfing Ivy more and more. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to play against her then. Oh, hey, hey. I wonder what's going on here. I see a chart. Hmm. Okay. If I had to, just based off of the pictures, I have to guess... Yeah, just based off of the pictures, I have to guess that most likely aliens would meet here and talk about stocks. I mean, they had a bar graph. It has to be something related to, to like, uh, productivity or something. All right. There's, okay, there's three of them. There's one of them. Okay. Could this be some sort of burial chamber? Actually, that's a good question. I did see the fire. I did see the alien slowly go away, but interesting, interesting. I bet this is an alien port. Okay. Hmm. 
All right. Also, apparently a dead thing came back to life. I have a feeling I might know what these crystals do. Oh, a door. Oh, first off. Oh, let's go to the door first. Hey, we found you. All right. Boston. Maggie, I found you. Uh. I wasn't aware that I was missing. Oh, yeah, you were. You know what I mean. I found a way to get where you are. Through the museum, back that way. That's nice, Boston. Uh, you're not interested. If that's the museum, then I guess this is the library. Oh, yes, yeah. I found out how to open doors back in the Nexus. There's a tram that leads out here. Look, Boston, I think it's great you're finding things out, but I'm trying to concentrate here. I feel like I'm so close to making sense of some of this stuff, and I just want to stay here and keep working. Well, technically that makes the most logical sense. All right. She stays here, figures out the sure, stuff. Of course. And he finds a safe location and finds food. I just... Anyway. I know where to find you, and you know how to get out of here if you want to. Yep. Thanks. Yes. When I learn something, I'll call you on the box, okay? All right. All right. Yes, I, I won't bug you anymore right now. Ah, oh, don't feel defeated. It's good that you guys were able to meet up again. In Survival 101, you have to. There's three things you have to secure when you're trying to survive. You want to secure water, you want to secure food, and you want to secure a safe location. We found the water, though it's a bit dangerous. And in regards to food, we still haven't found that yet. Hey, another one. We can another open up another door. On a stick. All right, I think we know. I know where we need to head next. And what? Oh, an another display. Let's check this out. Okay. Oh, hey, there's more. So what's going on here? That canister sure packs a punch. Yeah, what was that canister doing? Oh, I, I've beaten this game many times. I've played this game many, many, many times. I played it when it came out. Oh, not in not when it exactly when it came out in 1995, but I played it when it came out, or when I was able to. So, a friend gave me this game as well as a couple other old PC games, way back when. This was about in the year 2000, and that's when I ended up playing the dig. And I enjoyed it so much that, uh, yeah, I always find myself going back and playing it from time to time. I end up playing it actually more frequently than some other games uh, that were released by LucasArts. For instance, a lot of people like to go back and play Monkey Island 1 and 2. And for me, Monkey Island 1 is, is definitely, definitely fun, worth playing. But I can never really get into 2, even though it's technically the better game. At least some people would argue it's the better game. And I think Day of Tent the Tentacle is another one. A lot of people really love that, like this, that game. But for me, it's always this one. All right, let's head up. All right, since that one opened, I think we'll try this one here. On panel. All right, so we have. Let's let's examine this here and see. So green square, red triangle, red green triangle, and then a diamond, a green diamond. All right, let's go to the green square. And then I forgot what the thing was, so excuse me while I look at it again. Okay. That's fine. So these next ones are green. All 
right, and there we go, green. One more time. Triangle and diamond. Okay. There we go. Okay, that didn't work. All right. Oh, yeah, that means... This is, okay, let's try a different door. Oh, maybe this door. Let's try this one. Okay, so this should be green triangle. This should be a green diamond. And then this should be another green structure. There we go. All right. Now that we've opened this, let's head on through. Another tram. Oh, and another button. Actually, speaking of which, I think I'm gonna move these out of the way. I've already used these two. All right. Travel by hamster ball. Oh. The other trams came as soon as I called them. Why this one not work? Maybe there are some controls somewhere. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe this might be the one that's not functioning. If you remember, four of them were not working. Actually, if you remember, I had commented earlier. We saw it in the museum. These glowy crystal things. I'm guessing that... Because you use it on life. So let's use it on Brink. Who knows if this will even work. Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display. They say. designed for humans. He's dead. This is worth giving it's a worth shot. A shot. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I mean, he's dead. There's not much else we can do. Hey, it worked. All right. Brink, are you okay? I feel... I feel fine. What happened? You died. I remember digging. And then you died. The ground gave way under me. Brink, you've been dead for several hours. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath. Oh yeah, you've dead. been... Yep. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. All right. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Uh, maybe. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me... to life. Okay, maybe we should not have used the crystal on you. Powerful, You're talking crazy now. <laughs> more alive than I've ever felt before. You're talking a bit crazy. Maggie, do you read me? I think we're going yes, to... Yes, I do. I want to quarantine him for I a while. This is important. I think so. Brink isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait. I'm serious. Deadly serious. Brink! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The See, Maggie, don't you wish you followed me around now? You gotta watch the miracle of un uh, so unaliving being... A crystal that heals unaliving death. being reversed. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. 
Again, he's talking crazy. Maybe we should quarantine. I know a good quarantine location. It's, it has a nice airlock. It will prevent people from entering. Uh, you know, there's an area where it's a secure zone area. I think, Brink, you should, or not, you should be off to the side and uh, wait a little bit because you're not talking normal. Yeah, let me show you the crystal. Yeah, yeah, I kind of thought the same thing, but I thought, why not see what... No, no, give it a try. Okay, not... Let's see here. Now, where do we go? Let's go back. Come on, Brink, where are you? We're feeling at the optimal health. You're very slow. If I boop, there we go. All right. So now that we're here, oh, the weakened door. Yeah, you can help me with this. Frank, did you give me a hand with this? I didn't check it earlier, but sure. now that I see it says it's a weakened door, definitely could get some help from Brink. On three. One, two, three. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of those crystals. Oh. And it doesn't. Oh. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. Yeah, and there's a skull in there. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? No. They look like it. Okay, don't don't tell him the truth. If if then it if it wasn't wise to show him them, then don't tell him what they are. Crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. Found the secret of life, and they want to share. You sound crazy. Again, quarantine Aren't him. You watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak. That ghost shaped itself like a skull. A human skull too. Us. These crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lord. These crystals are the antidote for death. That's what it meant. Actually, this is a... What hey, it kind of goes back to our translation conversation. Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. Which sounds very dangerous. Because if you had you're not talking sense. On yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. Sound like a drug addict. Brink, I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. A very dangerous yeah. one, by the way. You, well, again, again. It's all so perfect. Where are these aliens? Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How See, you're now... Dead? You're now targeting the they person. These life crystals. Any, any rational individual will Long still have a logical crystals. conversation. They won't start insulting the other person. If you have to still start resorting to insulting the other person, then you're not in you're not one you're not winning the uh, argue, argument or conversation and two it's a sign that you're not mentally thinking straight 
I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Well, I'm gonna take some for study back on Earth. Yep. I'm just not gonna use them. Yep. But you will, Commander. All right, I think we have plenty now. Okay. Let's go. That's a very dangerous. Again, you talk like a drug addict. Let's see here. Oh, hey, Brink, look, there's water. Come check it out. Look, life. Oh no! But break. Okay, I guess that's how it gets rid of oh, things that cannot digest. Hey, Brink. Brink. What do you think? Where'd Brink go? Brink. Brink. He just buggered off. Oh, the prick. Brink, answer me. Okay, where did he bugger off to? Where are you? We should have quarantined him. Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. I'm afraid maybe those things are addictive. Or they altered his personality or something. But they actually comment on that. Interesting. Ghost tried to warn us, but Brink was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. I, I would say anyway, the I'm giant monster that ate the turtle tells us it's pretty dangerous. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Yeah, no one wants Nobody to talk wants to you. To stay with me. <laughs> Maybe it's my deodorant. I think it failed somewhere back there on Attila. Uh, okay. Alright, what happened to you, Brink? Okay, actually, you know what? I should probably go to the... We should check here. Did he come back here and take all of the crystals? No, he didn't. All right. So he's not here. Okay, so I wonder where he went. Either way, either way. We should probably... Let's head on back. If you remember, one of the areas was not functioning. So we should probably go deal with that. If we can get all five crystals lit up in the control room, then from there we can probably continue exploring, figuring out where we need to go. Maybe we'll run into Brink. Yeah, definitely a dino. Alright, let's head on up. Up we go. And into the tunnel. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, we should have came here first. I think I should have brought Brink here first and then just locked him in. Like, alright, you've been a... Uh... Actually, oh, whoops. I should have, I accidentally closed it. I should I should probably look that up. What are the proper protocols for people who are highly, you know, addicts? Because clearly Brink was having a some kind of reaction to the drug, a, a very addictive reaction to the drug to the life crystal. So hmm. Let's see here. 
I think maybe that won't fit. What do you mean that it won't, won't fit? That won't fit. Okay. Then what can I? Do? Hmm. This crystal is lifeless. Yeah, I know it's lifeless. That's why I I came here. I thought I could. F All right. Do I have anything special? I have a tablet. This thing. Oop. I'm gonna put that there for now. Um. We already use these two. Oh, whoops. I actually changed my outfit. We already use these two, so... Hmm. Alright, we head out. Let's look around some more. Yeah, what's... I don't... Because I, I know you can't keep a person away... Withdrawal symptoms could potentially happen with some, when someone is on a very addictive agent. You tend to see that happen with those who are... You take uh, cigarettes away from a smoker for like 48 hours and they, they will have a very adverse reaction and you'll see it happen and changes occur within their body. Uh, it's mostly hormone levels changes and such. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know. I, well, hmm. Very... I wonder. Maybe if... No, that panel's fine. Wonder what to do now. You know what? I'm gonna... Tr I'm gonna try it. Husk this panel. Let's see if we can pry the cover off. Oh, I can actually do that. <laughs> Aha, all right. That's it. Anything special in there? Yeah, it's a corroded mess in here. Oh. Some of the connections have been broken, but it's not getting any power. All right. That might explain why this door wasn't functioning properly. Okay, we'll just... See if we can use the wire. Okay, now throw Let's see it. If we can get something flowing from this broken conduit on the floor. Be careful if it's sp if it if it arcs, you're going to be electrocuted. Myself in the process. Oh yeah, that. The last thing you want is for that to happen. I should have been an electrician. That's, I'm actually surprised that that worked. Hey, okay, so it's work. Oh, yeah, but that means I still need to find the freaking password. All right, I was kind of hoping it would just launch the door open. All right, I guess let's wander around. That's to the museum. All right, then. I guess let's go down the ramp. Take the blue crystal. Is there anything special down here? Uh, and the answer is no. So let's just go. So we can't use the blue crystal. Uh, power's flowing, so I don't. I don't think we need the blue. I can hold on to the blue crystal now, which is good. This opened, but nothing worked. Let's try again, real quick. Maybe it will work now. Nothing happened. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Now where? To, now where to head? Obviously, we need. And that's sealed, so we can't enter. I think this opens this door, so we need to find more of those pieces. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because I don't recall seeing anything else anywhere. I guess back to the museum. I mean, I was just there, mind you, but... Maybe there's something I missed. I 
actually, Brink should be around here somewhere because this was still here, unless he found another way out. I wonder where he went. Ruined door, ruined door. What's here? Nothing could open this door. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Up we go. How about in here? And yeah, I'm not seeing anything. To the library. Yes. Um do you have anything that I could use? Here, you have a Not life crystal. Me, thanks. I've decided that has to be a control console for a data retrieval system. When I use the controls, different inscriptions appear. Well, that definitely sounds like a control system. Sometimes different languages. I'm actually a bit surprised you're able to tell the difference. I'll let you know. All right, I guess. Let's get. All right, now we're gonna have to start exploring around to see if there's anything that we could potentially have missed. Actually, let's go back here real quick. We have a loose bones. I know there's a deadly creature in the water. Uh, sadly, there's nothing else. Okay. All right, back to let's head back here. Ah, oh, it's nice that they added these these quality of life functions. One of the big problems sometimes with these games is that you know these guys can walk quite slow, but. Here, I can just simply tell them to move pretty quickly. So there's the panel, there's the museum tram. I already fixed this one. Let's see here, anything special? No. We have a column. Glowing plant. We open that, but it's not working. Yeah, another sealed door. In the can. All right, let's go back up to here. Maybe I missed something. Up oh, hey, that's different. Oh yeah, we saw this earlier. So the platform. Oh, what? It's radiating energy. Yeah, probably best not to get a step on that. That might not be wise. Alright, so anything around here potentially that we can investigate? Dirt ramp? We dug a hole already, and the answer is no. Okay. How about to the grave? Can I dig up any other graves? And the answer is... Mm, oh, bones. Any particular bones I can take? Whatever creature these bones used to be, I don't think we've got anything like it on Earth. Maybe an elephant? Well, we kind of need to put it back together. This is where this is where a paleontologist would come in handy. All right, let's check out the alien spaceship real quick. One last pass to make sure that I didn't forget anything. And the answer is... Do, 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 do. Size of the chest. Yeah, nothing. All right. All right, let's get out of here. So apparently everything that I, I can access is down there. Everything in the DS. The question is, is what? And how do I use this blue crystal? Maybe can I... There is no reaction. There is a combination thing going on. All right, good to know. Why 
I am lo lost. Already, I already got lost. Yeah, the last time I played this game was... Ooh, five years ago? No, no, not five years ago. Three years ago. Let's see here. Anything over here, maybe? Uh, nope. Actually, how far will this go? All right, there we go. And that's not nothing. That is nothing. This is a very fun-looking environment, isn't it? All right, trying again. Okay, there has to be something involving this. I've collected life crystals, so maybe the blue crystal now. It won't accomplish anything. That won't fit. That won't fit. I can't use these two things together. All right, then. And I said this didn't work. Fit. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. Hmm. This, this crystal is lifeless. Yeah, I know, and that's probably what's causing the thing, the uh, tram not to work. Actually, believe it or not, I, I think that, uh, I think that this is the spot that I always get stuck. There's this one particular point in this game that I always seem to forget how to solve. Every other point I, I'm, I'm good with, but there's always this one little point that I for, seem to always forget what to do, and I think this is it. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I can... Oh, I'm gonna take... Aha, let's take this to you. It won't accomplish anything. Give me it won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. We used it on two things earlier. Okay, let's look at the edge and see. Anything down here that I might have missed? Operating normally. Well, that's good to know. Nah, I don't see anything. All right. Back to the edge. I have... Hmm. So that's... And... Hmm. Alright, we'll just take it. I don't think... I don't think it needs to be here now. The only other option would be to try and start... T yeah, the only other option I could think of would be to start just trying to see if these two... Yeah, this one in was opening that one, and this one opened that one over... Hmm. I highly doubt that there would be two doors that use the same code. Oh, tablet. Why don't we have a look at the tablet real quick? Um... Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, this makes a ton of sense. Oh yeah, uh, very logical. Growing plant, column. Actually, I wonder, can I take this to the column? I can't use these two things Ah, uh, no. Hmm. All right. Yeah, I have no. I don't know what to do. I might have to look this up. I might have to do a quick. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's the growing plant again. I might have to look this up real quick to see what the I need to do next. It's not down there. We already finished that. I can't do anything in there. The thing over there is not working, so it has to be in involving the museum. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no other no other way to explain it. We already opened the door and collect wait, is there something in here I might have missed? 
Canister. Oh, what's the canister? Hey, okay. Alright. I did miss something. What is this? A canister. Didn't I see a picture of something like this in one of the museum displays? Oh, you're right, we did. I think it ex I think it had expl oh okay. I know what I'm gonna do now. I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Okay, we have a canister. And we have a giant monster here that's trying to kill me. At least it's in the water. We have life crystals, and we have bones. Let's bring this let's bring this turtle monster back to life. Let's see here. Um Alright, this is gonna be an interesting Ah, uh, that doesn't match. Maybe here. Ah, that doesn't look... Okay, anyway, let's continue going. We're making an abomination. I kind of wish... Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's see here. Um... Well, so this apparently has an arm right here. What am I making? Alright, so that apparent alright, so those apparently go together. This is a bone, so maybe like that. So this is an arm piece. So this would probably go here. There we go. Ah, oh, that means this should probably go here somehow. Ah, I guess that's alright. Okay, and then that means this goes up here like that. There we go. So far, so good. So now... Okay then, so now what? This obviously doesn't look right right here. Now which is the head and what which is the head and which is the tail? Maybe this goes here like so. And then this goes like that does not look right. That definitely doesn't look right. That definitely doesn't look right. Okay. Um I wish I kind of... I have... Hmm. Maybe... Alright, so maybe... No, that's not... That doesn't look to be correct. But I could turn this around. Like so. Yeah, there we go. That's making a bit of sense. I guess this goes on the end then. I guess that's maybe correct. Let's put a bomb on it. I can't use these two things together. What do you mean I can't use it together? Is it wrong? Maybe this ribcage needs to be turned around? You just need a little something to make you complete, my friend. There we go. How yeah. About a little alien explosive device. All right, now time to use the power of these crystals. Wow, that's actually think about it. I can find a corpse, put a bomb in it, then bring it back to life. That's a uh, very dangerous. Ah, oh, it's like Nessie the Loch Ness monster. It's huge. Boom. There we go. Water is safe now. Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. Wait, what underwater cave? What uh, what underwater cave? I didn't see an underwater cave. I'm curious now. There's an underwater cave, but where were we supposed to see that? Why does that look like a face? Look at that. There's the eye. There's the nose. Uh, okay, you can't really see it, but yeah, it looks like... Yeah, there's an eye. There's the nose. There's the mouth. 
It looks like a face. Oh, 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 we need that, we need that. Finally. Another engraving. Hmm. And a pl another plate. Nice. Okay, so far so good. All right, now that we're back here, let's head out. Anything else that we can potentially touch? No. And hopefully you don't get sick, Mr. Fr uh, Mr. I forgot your name already. Either way, now that we have a panel, we can add that. And now that we have a new rod, we should be able to go to another location. So let's go ahead and go do that. Let's see where we need to head. Maybe over this way? Let's try it on this door first. This rod we're going to work on. I'll put it right here for now. And this is... Triangle, square, triangle, um, hexagon. All right. Let's try here. Green triangle. And then this was... All right, let me look again. Oh, I thought so. I messed it up. All right. Blue square. All right. Let's hurry up and get this to blue square. Ah, this is kind of why I wish I could go back. Now I have to go all the way through here to get back to the red triangle. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I was too click happy. All right, once we get we're getting close. And there, okay. Nice. Now, this one should be green, if I recall. Should be... There we go. Oh, hey, it worked. All right. New location. So where does this lead... Oh, oh, there it is. Button. Let's call the tram. Yeah, I'm right. The other one, it's not working because of the fact that it is not gaining any power. Now, how do we give it power is the good question. It's interesting that the tram system here is a giant rolling ball. Okay, let's go. Out we go. Oh. This looks quite epic. Check it out. Actually, the fact that we're getting waves like this tells me that they have a moon going around because you only get movement like that in the water if there is... Yeah, you only get movement in, like this in the water if there's something pulling it. Oh, oh, oh. Go, go, go. Jump. Yeah. Wow, very brave. First time I ever did the wave all by myself. Yeah. That's very... You know, you're very brave, my friend. I would not have done that. I really would not have. Oh, hey. It's one of these things again. Let's see if it works. Oh, hey, it's working. That should have turned on another light bridge, and it didn't. Ah. Bummer. Okay, maybe it's when you abandon machinery long enough, it's going to get out of adjustment. All right. And that means we should probably open it. Okay. Our good old friend, the husk. The tusk. Let's open it up and have a look. It won't accomplish anything. 
What do you mean? Well, we can open it up. Come on. It won't accomplish anything. Ah, fine. Oh, hey, lens. Just needs a little adjustment. Oh, maybe that's it. Try again. Oh, hey, it's working this time. Okay, we just need to move the lens a bit. And there we go. Now we have a new light bridge. Nice. All right, let's continue looking around then. Oh, a blue rod. Grab it. Ah, why do I have a feeling this might be what I need for the control room? Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna stick my hand in some crack in the rock on an alien planet. Why not? The worst that could happen is you get stuck and starve to death. I get that does sound pretty bad. <laughs> that does sound pretty bad, so yeah. Pretty wise not to do that. Actually, part of me kind of feels like I wish that I know why they didn't do it. It's probably a, oh, hey, Mr. Rat. Don't, don't, don't do that. The way things have been going, I can pretty much bet that whatever that little beast just stole. Oh, we need it. I'm going to want it really badly in a minute or two. Yep. So what is that's the clearing? Uh, I think that's where we came from. So let's head on over here. Oh, hey, a pulp. Um, a place for everything and everything in its place. Hey, a rib cage. Let's grab it. If we can Scavengers grab it, we're we'll gonna put it in our clean, pants. But the animal can't have been dead very long because the rib cage is still holding together. Oh, all right. We just found something else that's been eaten. So yeah, they have carnivores. Be very cautious. Oh, how about this with that? It won't accomplish anything. All right, how about we put that there? It won't do anything. Okay, what about the? Let's see here, hole. There's something moving in here. Oh, I need to catch you. A thin metal plate with a button on it. Okay, yeah, we need that thing back. Come on. Hey, Poppy, how's it going? Okay, well, let's that put... That doesn't fit here. All right, then where do I put it? All right, I'm busy trying to figure this out. So maybe ribcage with that? These two objects don't fit together. All right. How about we, with the, the uh, pole? The hook won't support the cage in that position. Ah, okay. I need to prop it up somehow. That's why I wanted to use the rod. The rod right here. Oh. Yep. Classic point and click puzzle game. I see a hole. I see it. Let's let's dig this cave. Sorry, friend, but your little house is about to get a big front door. Yeah, these these are always very fun. I always find myself going back and playing these uh, uh, every now and then. That looks big enough to squeeze through. I don't like the fact you use squeezed, my friend. That'd be... What happens if it collapses? Oh, hey. Much bigger on the inside. Critter hole. Anything that I can touch? More critter holes. Um... Maybe we just start digging out all the holes. There's an awful lot of them. It's the critter's empty nest. Yeah, that's why we should dig it up. Maybe he might have left something. Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's another hole. Okay. Alright, let's go set the trap. So if we head on over here, we have a giant pole and a hole. 
Part of me feels like the rod should go in the hole. I can't use these two things together. But apparently that's not the case. And I thought maybe here. It won't accomplish anything. Hmm. So now what? Maybe the tusk in the hole? It won't do anything. No. All right. Hey, Rune, how's it going? We're busy tra oh hey what I just saw a dowel. Oh, that's what we need. Alright, we found it. A short metal dowel. Alright, that's what we need right there. Let's put the dowel in. There we that's go. Nice fit. Now we have that. Now we can use the pole. We'll put that on the pit. Hey, Poppy. There we go, and then last but not least, now we can put the rib cage on it. Nice, we have a little trap. If only I had some bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheepdog. There we go. Okay, now let's go get this. There's something moving in here. Yeah, come on, Mr. Rodent. Okay, well, let's see if we can try and... No, 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 don't go that way. Alright. Okay, let's try again. How am I going to get him to... How am I going to get him to play nice? A lot of useless junk collected by that little thief. Alright, let's try again, I guess. There's something moving in here. Oh, I have an idea. We'll walk. He's going to just stay there. Let's walk around him. Aha! Now I, now you don't have an incentive to walk this way. Aha! I get you. There we go. Now I've got you. If I let you out, you'll head for the place where you hide nice shiny machinery parts. Oh! The only trouble is... Room decoration. I didn't... Genshin, it sounds like he has just so much stuff. I want to put this little bracelet on you. It's a tracking bracelet. Now it's you... It's a small alien critter with an electronic collar. Yep. And now we let you free. Be gone, look, uh, critter. Go, little creature. Roam free wherever your thieving little heart desires. I have I have a feeling our friend here is a bit annoyed. <laughs> okay, so where is it? It's got to be right under here. All right. This is where the tracker's pointing. Oh, it's a What if I hadn't brought this shovel along? No, that's not worth thinking about. Yeah, the shovel has actually gotten quite a lot of use. Look, well, it's, it's gotten a whole lot of use. The critter sure didn't like that. He took off down one of his tunnels. That's fine. We're, we're here. We're here looking for parts that it might have stolen. Oh, hey, there it is. Now maybe I can get the door open. All right, so far so good. Let's head on out. Let's head on back. Now I'm having. I'm having a oh. A thin metal rod. We'll hold on to that for now. That thin metal rod might be useful. You never know. My character has now big, big baggy work. pants. It is surprising how much stuff I can fit into the, into how much stuff he can fit in his pants. Now let's get this thing closed up and see if it works. There we go. And push the button. Open sesame. Yeah, there we go. So I will Oh, fun. I wonder what this place is. Oh, green engraving. Oh, all right. We can go into another location now. Nice. Another one of these engraved sticks. Nice, nice. 
The next one will be the green one we'll have to work with. I see a button. I see twin scepter. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Okay, but what are they for? Yeah, I have a silver one and a gold one. I'm now very curious. What are they for? Oh, come on. Button's not working. Oh, hey, pan a plate. Ooh, nice. Oh, crack. I can see outside. Oh, that's fun. But the big question is, is what does the button do? I guess... Ah, huh, all right. Well, whatever it does, it's not going to let me... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to do one other thing. What about up here? Faint light. Hmm. Uh, all right, no. Okay. It's not working. Oh, okay. We'll have to figure out what that is later. It's a big dome with a button in it. I'm going to say it is a... Oh. I'm going to say that it is a... Oh, let's go ahead and call the tram and get back to the Nexus. I'm saying that is an observatory or, you know, like an astronomer dome so you can look at the stars. Now, here's a question. Who is... Who is doing the more heavy lifting? Our fine friend here or Maggie? Because Boston, he is, uh, he's going around and actively moving around and collecting things and figuring out this location. She's busy translating a, uh, she's pretty much learning about a library. Oh, that's actually a very good question. Who is, yeah, that's actually a very, very good question. That's actually a very good question because technically they're both they both, uh, there's no wrong answer here. Because him looking around, for trying to figure out where he is, trying to, I am guess we're trying to secure some food. I mean, if I was in his predicament, I would be trying to secure food and water. So he's doing a lot of the thing, tasks that need to be done in order to survive. But at the same time, we're on an alien planet. Maybe sh deciphering the code, we might quickly find out, oh, there's a Star Trek box over in the corner. You can manifest whatever you desire, like a pizza. Go use that, so we don't actually have to go hunt down something. So, yeah, it's a very, very interesting conundrum. All right. So, we have a circle. And then, an, actually, let's, let's look at this again. So, a red circle, and then a green circle, and then a diamond. And this is supposed to be a triangle. So, yeah, this needs to go all the way back around. Go ahead and do that. Green triangle. Then a red circle. And then this should be a green circle. Hey, there we go. Nice. Okay. So now, where are we heading this time? Wow, the this is not looking good. This is looking quite worse for wear. Hopefully the tram still works. Oh, hey, it's still working. Good. Oh, okay, well, maybe. Yeah, still working. Nice, okay. I would actually... Quite fun, quite fun. I wonder, I wonder. I'm a bit curious about, I wonder how, if the technology that's on display here if it would actually be possible in real life. Because there's obviously, obviously, um, energy to matter, uh, you know, that type of conversion going on here. Wait, did I just go back? I did go back in, didn't I? Whoops. Let's, all right, where am I? I'm here. Where's the exit? There, ledge. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, the... Yeah, you can see a lot of the... This is quite an epic game, and a lot of very grandiose settings. It's amazing what they're able to accomplish with the scum engine before they dropped it. Ah. This looks like... I can't help but feel like this place has see It's been a, ver <clears throat> a very, very long time since this place had been used. Oh. All right. I see lots of new wildlife. They look like bats. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Into the opening. I don't think I want to mess with them. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is mess with bats. Oh. All right. I wonder what this is. It's four, which makes me think of these. Actually, if you remember, the purple one didn't work properly. Let's So let's try the purple one. So a, a red square, a red diamond, and then two blue circles. All right, so let's go ahead and convert these to blue circles. There we go. Time for the next one. There we go. That didn't do anything. Doesn't look like there are any... Oh, that's the opening. It doesn't look like there's anything... Alright, well, let's just continue going. We'll continue... Let's just head up to the opening. Or maybe not. What's over here? It looks like nothing. Okay, let's just let's go to the opening. Oh, oh, it's another one of these things. It's not working either. Looks like the warranty must have run out on this light bridge. Yeah, this is the second one that's not working. But yeah, come on. Okay, maybe if I mess with the lens? Just needs a little adjustment. Right, hopefully that fixes it. Nope. Alright, let's try again, maybe. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. Yeah, hopefully that will fix it. Yeah, there we go. Good, nice. All right, now we have three connected. All right. Oh, bright light. That's the lens. Map room. It says it's a map room. Okay, but I put it in, but nothing happened. And I don't see any buttons. you see any button? No, I don't see any... I see these buttons, but... Okay, let's try one more thing. Oh, diamond... Uh, square diamond. Okay. There we go. Ah, okay. So this just kind of shows off what's going on. Amazing map system. You don't even have to refold it when you're done. Okay. All right, interesting, interesting. I guess back to the pit, maybe? Is there anything... Anything... Oh. Chamber. Opening. Okay, I don't see it. Hmm. All right, I have... Okay, I if you remember, I collected these, and I collected this. Let's go back to the control room. Maybe we can... Maybe we can solve the issue with the control room.
So, yeah, a dark tunnel. Let's come on. Oh, no, there we go. In we go, and I'm still very confused, actually. Why does a control room need this level of security? This is literally quarantine. This should be this should be called the quarantine. I'm I'm not going to let that go. Like why does it need this level of security? You have to enter twice. Okay, does this fit? Oh, it does. Oh. All right, apparently we got more rods. Okay. I don't know what's... Okay, what does this do? Well, I see... Um, hmm. Oh, oh, I can turn... Okay, okay, I see, I see. All right, all right. There, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we just need to move these around to turn it on. So that's all the way up. This right about there. There we go. Nice, okay. All right, we figured that one out. All the crystals are lit up. And the tram is working, perfect. Okay, I think that might be it for this area, so let's get out. Airlock. All right, all right, let's go, let's go. We have a we have a tram to investigate. So let's see if I recall, it's not that one, it's not the museum tram. It should just be that's the map tram, that's not it. It should be this one here, open door. Yeah, this one was not working. All right. Nice, it's, uh, it just showed up. It's in a very awkward position, mind you. The button to call the tram is all the way, and the entrance to the tram is on two completely different sides, but okay. We won't, we won't question the architectural design, but it's just interesting, interesting. So here we are now. Yeah, again, why is this all surrounded by water? Oh, yeah, don't fall in. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't fall in, don't fall in. So where are we now? Oh, there's a path, a stone, pl oh, stone plate. Let's grab it. I can't move this thing with my bare hands. Oh. It's half buried in dirt and rubble. Uh, okay, well then clear it off with a shovel. Let's see oh. if this plate can be moved. Oh, is it? Uh, if you're ever going to go on an archaeological dig, definitely take a shovel. It seems to be this seems to be the most one of the most useful items we have in this game. Ah, could this be some sort of burial chamber? 
Actually, that does kind of that is what kind of what it looks like. Oh, a hole. It's a roughly carved hole in the wall. Oh, do we have anything that can go in? Oh, maybe. I have a rod. What purpose that... could this? I can't use these two things together. Okay, maybe not that. Oh, a shutter. There's light seeping through from outside. Okay. Maybe Silver Scepter? If only I could see better. It won't accomplish anything. Alright, alright. I can take a hint. Let's go over here to the path and try and clear out some space. Uh, engraving. Oh, and there's, there's another device. Okay. Uh. Sure. Clear as day. Makes lots of sense. Makes tons of sense. There. Another broken light bridge. There, there, they're all broken. Okay, let's just adjust the lens. Just needs a little adjustment. All right, let's try. No. Another broken light bridge. All right, I, I have a feeling that we're going to have to do a bit more. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. We still have to go through just to make sure. Yep, yep, I was right. I was right. Another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. There must be something wrong inside the control panel. Ah, uh, hmm. All right. Now we can tusk it. It won't accomplish anything. Oh, what do I want to... Come on, open it up. Open. If at first you don't succeed. No, we want to open up the panel. Come on. It won't accomplish anything. Um. If there's something wrong with the device, the panel, then we have to open it up. Ah, oh, there, I saw it. Panel. Okay. Tusk to panel. It won't accomplish anything. Okay, can I take the panel off myself? Oh, okay. So this is what's in the guts. Okay, of the never machines. mind. All right, let's. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Ha. Huh. Hey, let's see here. So I think, given how this looks. That's probably not the right one to point at. So maybe this one first. That one, that one, and then... No, wait, 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 that's right. And then last is blue. Pretty impressive for there we go. Never took a class in alien physics. Hopefully that fixed the problem. Okay, let's see. Hey, it worked. Okay, we solved it. So now we just have one left. And then we have all... Okay, interesting. So, cave interior. Ah. I see, um... This is a bat cave. Here you are, Brink. Oh, hi, Brink. There's you I was going to make answer. a joke about Batman, but Brink showed up. I was busy. Yeah, Trying being crazy. To concentrate on my work. I don't have time for interruptions. All right, crazy person. In other words, you want me to go away. Yep. Those are the right words. Go away. All right, so what are you doing? Let's see here. What are you doing? Um, it looks like he's putting something together. He did pick a nice spot to view the place. Oh, hey, there's the crystal in the back. He did pick a nice spot. So what is this? This looks like some pretty badly deteriorated machinery.
Ah, Brink, okay. Uh, I don't really want to talk. He, he's, he's acting crazy, so I don't really want to talk to him. You know, it's always best to ignore crazy people. But yeah, there are bat like creatures. If we have. Alright, so there should be. If you remember, we saw something earlier. Do you see it anywhere? I see the path. Tomb. A spiral base because I'm trying to open that up the shutter let's see here well we've done all those we have I have two of these so we need one more actually I wonder can this go in the hall it won't accomplish anything. no okay so the rod doesn't go in the hole I'll go ahead and put I'll go ahead and put these two down here for now the rod doesn't fit. These don't fit. Maybe the gold scepter. It won't accomplish anything. Okay, maybe not that either. All right, engraving. And okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's go here. We're going to the map. Map Spire. Let's see, this one was the one that wasn't working earlier. Which should have been the purple engraving. So if I go... Yeah. Actually, wait. We already did this one. Yeah, we already did this one. Maybe if we pick a different one. How about we go with the orange one? So, green, green, blue... So, triangle, square, triangle, hexagon. So, green triangle. And then it should be a green square, right? No, blue square, then red triangle. So, this should be a blue square. There we go. And then this should be a green hexagon, if I recall. There we go. So what do we see? It showed me nothing. Alright, so that didn't show me anything. That didn't show me anything. Let's try the green one next. So we have a s triangle, circle, circle, uh, square, diamond. Green, red, green, green. The triangle. This should be a red circle. There we go. And then the other two should be green, but I should probably make sure. Alright, yeah, because this should... Alright, so green, circle. I think this one has to go all the way back around. Yeah, this one has to go all the way back around. Alright, let's hurry, let's hurry. And click, 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 and there we go. Okay, what do you show me? For a map room, you're not being very helpful. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Tomb Spire, Map Spire, Museum Spire, and then Spire. We haven't figured this one out yet. Maybe it's here. Because if you remember, we haven't opened this thing. We opened it up, but the button wouldn't work. So maybe we put the blue crystal in the center. Oh, maybe here. I can't use these two things together. All right, well, it won't accomplish anything. Okay, what am I supposed to do then? Outside, button, light. Ah, hmm. Let's see here, anything special in here maybe? A hole? 
Huh. Hmm. All right. Maybe over here. Actually, I remember there should be nothing over here. There, yeah, there's just a giant hole. This is where we found the rod, but... Yeah, that's about... Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's get... I guess let's go this way, then. Let's head back. Actually, how, how is this thing going, anyway? Oh. Oh, alright. It's, um... It's, uh... Yeah, it, it's getting more... Pronounced. I think pronounced is a good way to put it. It doesn't look safe to walk there. Actually, I don't think it looks safe to be next to. Oh, oh to the museum spire. Maybe Maggie might have some knowledge for us. It's been a while. It's been a couple hours. Maggie, can you tell me something? Yes. Have you figured anything out? Here. I found this in the museum. Can you read it? It's not the same set of symbols I'm finding in the database here. That's unfortunate. I don't think it's designed for strangers to be able to read it. That's also unfortunate. Okay, then. Ask a question. Do you think those crystals had anything to do with Brink leaving? Oh, definitely. That... Who knows what side effects they might have? Oh, they had a very that massive side effect. He is acting crazy. Still, it's pretty amazing that they work at all. I wonder how long one would. It's like the Lazarus Pit from Batman. You come to light. You come back alive, but you're also crazy. Let's see here. Metal plates. Strange lights. Library. How's how this going? How are you doing with your data retrieval? I'm retrieving. I'm just not understanding. Okay. But you're pretty sure it's their language. I don't know. Just like the museum you found, I think this library was meant to be used by lots of different species. Mm hmm. I think this language may have been especially designed to be easy to translate. If it's easy, why is it taking so long? <laughs> it's an alien it's language. It's easy compared to translating a genuinely alien language that you've never heard spoken aloud. Oh, that actually... That's actually a very good point. Give me a break, Boston. That's a very good point. That's a very good I point. I have got a handle on a couple of the symbols, but I have to test it out and see if it makes sense. Okay. I'm thinking that maybe we should consider teaming up again. Um, I think she's going to decline that. Why? I think the answer to getting home is here in these displays. Yeah, she's probably right. You go out and explore like you have been, and I'll work at getting us home. When I figure it out, I'll take you with me. No charge. Uh, at least they have a. Uh, at least they can have snark with each other. All right, let, that's enough conversation. Thanks. Okay, anything? Maybe... I don't really see anything else. I think we've worked... Oh. There's a signal here, but I'm not getting a clear reading. Okay, I don't think I can move that. It doesn't point in any direction. Let's see here. So, I need to figure out what these scepters are for. And the blue crystal. So I guess we'll move on. Maybe I have to actually got to do, go talk to Brink. All right. Oh no, let's not let's not mess with the lens. Back to the crazy person. Map, spire, normal spire, museum spire, and tomb. All right, let's go talk to crazy. It's always good advice. Don't talk to crazy. Because if you talk to them, they might do something that you don't want them to do. Because they're crazy. 
All right, all right, Mr. Crazy. Let me talk to you. Drink. Let's see here. Um, actually, I don't. With all your newfound brilliance, Brink, can you make any sense out of this? I don't have time to analyze every meaningless bit of debris you pick up and carry around with you, Commander Lowe. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh, he's full blown. Um, I'm worried that these life crystals may have side effects. The only side effect is the envy of people who haven't used them. You, you sound like a drug addict. Have you used more of them? Their effect on health and intelligence increases with each use. Yeah, that's the person who's been taking a lot of uh, cocaine. They'll they'll tell you how efficient they are until their body shuts down. Most important technology ever created. They are the answer to everything. Yeah, like. Okay, I think I'm done talking to you. Uh, there's clearly there's clearly no communication going on with this guy. In fact, maybe I should just kind of leave you here. Let's see here. Um, oh, flashlight, maybe? Hey, bats. Uh, oh, that's entertaining, but that didn't do anything. It's amazing how parallel evolution on two different worlds made bats look completely weird and disgusting in both places. No, bats are adorable, you. No, bats are awesome. You don't under, you don't understand true uh, true grace of animals if you like bats are awesome. Screw you, Boston. All right. Sounds good, Poppy. I'm Sadly, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing right now as well. I need to open up the shutter, but I don't actually forgot how. This should be the tomb, which was the purple engraving, but that didn't show me anything. Unless it's the red one that's the is the tomb, and I just forgot. Oop. I haven't tried this one yet. Let's go back to the map. Let's go back to the map room real quick and try the red one. We have one. It doesn't hurt to try. Let's see here. First things first. So it will be red triangle, green triangle, diamond. So we have the diamond. So red triangle. Ah, these have to go all the way back around. All right. So red triangle, green triangle, diamond. Okay. Get to the red triangle. There we go. And then this is, should be... There we go. Oh, hey. There we go. It was all opened up. So there is more to that crypt than I first thought. Oh, yeah. All right. Actually, now that I've done that, maybe... Let's go back to the tomb. There. So now, is there any spots that I can start poking around? Engraving, engraving. Tomb. Oh yeah, okay, so now what do I do? Maybe... Uh, there's nowhere I can use the gold scepter. Huh. I could have sworn I had to open up the shutter some from somewhere over here. But sadly, I'm not seeing it. I see the tram exits. The engraving. I see the edge. Lens, the strange device. 
I guess let's check the engraving. Maybe the engraving might tell me something. Well, I see that. I don't know what that means. I'm taking a shovel to it. It won't do anything. Not if you don't try. If you, I'm pretty sure if you take a shovel to it, something might happen. All right, so let's think. Let's think. Yeah, we know what these two are for. We just need to find one more. I do not know what these two are for, but I do know what the blue... Because we took the blue crystal out of the other thing. Let's see here. I guess maybe... I don't know. I really don't know. Because, if you recall, we were here earlier. We still haven't figured out what this air, this... And we still haven't figured out what this room is for here. The button won't work. Hey, how's it going? Right now we're trying to figure out what this room does. No matter how many times I push the button, nothing happens. And I don't see anywhere else I can touch. Actually, you know what? I took out the blue crystal. I'm going to go put it back. Maybe, uh... Maybe I shouldn't have taken it? Yeah, right now we're trying... I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Oh, I should probably take the... This to the museum. Yeah, right now we're puzzling. And the puzzling is being quite troublesome. Yeah, we don't know where to go. Ah, this game is called The Dig. It is a point-and-click game released in 1995. So, it's almost 30 years old. It's a really old game. Wow. And it's pretty much, it's based off of a concept that Steven Spielberg came up with, which is actually quite, inter which is quite interesting. I would have loved to see him turn this into a movie. But the idea is that a group of astronauts, three astronauts pretty much, were transported to another planet. And now we're trying to escape, as well as figure out what happened on this planet. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and put the blue crystal back. Wait. There we go. I thought maybe... Uh, what happens if I push the... Actually, let's just do this real quick. I'm going to clear this off. I'll hit the... I have to hit the button. Now let's see here if that will do anything. And the answer is... Oh, it just goes down. Alright, yeah, the answer is, is nothing. Alright. Yeah, right now we're trying to play... Fi play to uh, figure out what, what two objects have I not rubbed together yet. I believe I've opened up all the doors. Yes, I have. So this is the last one. And that one requires us to use the... Yeah, that one requires us to use these. But as I said, we're not there yet. We're still missing one. It won't do anything. All right. Yeah, it's a point-and-click game set in space, and yeah, right now we're just trying to find out how to get home and what the hell these two receptors are doing. Oh, the PDA. 
Well, the PDA, I could talk to people. For instance, well, I can't talk to them. These two are too far away. Brink has gone crazy, so I don't think there's any use talking to him. Maggie, though, maybe. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. Let's check it out. Maybe they might have it. The map shows secret rooms under the tomb I found. Yeah. How do I get there? If the map shows them, they aren't meant to be secrets then, right? Oh, yes. I guess you're right. But how do I get down there? There must be a way to access them. Yes, exactly. How do... All right. I, I don't think it's going to be very useful. I think they're just going to... We're just going to have conversations. I mean, Brink's gone crazy. She's still translating the library. She doesn't know what that says. It's too complicated. These are bad. You know, it's amazing how they made it capable that we can stand on light. These were quite we weird. These metallic plates are quite weird. And there are ghosts. So I, I, I guess I'm done talking to her. Thanks. We could play Asteroid Lander. Is like Siri or FaceTime. <laughs> yes, yes. And this was back in 1995 when they came up with this. So, look, I mean, check it out. He has himself a an iPhone before iPhones even existed. And it even comes with games. Look, it's the Lunar... Oh, we should probably go this way for, if we want to land. Oh, this way. We want to land. Uh, believe it or not, but this is actually an old game. It's a, an old arcade game. And no. No, 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 no. Come on. Up we get. I went too fast. Oh, no. Oh, all right. All right. Never mind. Let's get out of this. I almost beat Maggie's high score. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that was beating Maggie's high score. I crashed it. Unless Maggie's high score is crashing. Okay, all right. So let's see here. So let's think. So we're done with the dark tunnel. We're done with the ramp. And we have... I did collect these and that. Oh. I guess the main thing to do is now just start looking around, maybe. Maybe there's something I missed. Let's see here. I mean, I did miss the explosion explosive in here earlier. That's not it. There has to be something about the, the tomb. There has to be something around here that I can touch or mess with. Let's see here. Tree. I'm busy. I'm trying to scour. Oh, that's the spiral base. That's not it. That's the path to go down. There's the tomb. I mean, we have a hole. Sadly, oh wait, maybe the ro maybe the engraved rod. I can't use these two things together. Okay, maybe. I don't know. I already tried life crystal. Maybe the. Uh, I don't know. Gold scepter, maybe. It won't do anything. I just saw use. Use what where? Uh, I can't use these two things together. Ah, balls. Okay. Um, There's light seeping through from outside. Yeah, I know. Can I? And how do I open up? If only I could see better. Oh, flashlight. Let's flashlight it. It won't accomplish anything. Use the green orb on the hole? Uh, I thought that. I thought that. I tried that but uh, earlier, but it was like, nope. It won't accomplish anything. So I need to first open up a... I need to first make it brighter in there. 
So I kind of thought maybe there's something around here that I could mess with. And it doesn't involve Brink because he's gone. He's gone mad. Oh hey, what are you doing here? That's a bit ominous. This looks like some pretty badly deteriorated machine. Let's see here. Um. Okay, maybe if I talk to him, maybe he might say something. Brink. The tomb. Let's ask him about that. In the map room, I found hints about a secret passage under the tomb I discovered. I'm so very impressed. Now leave me alone, Commander. Uh. Okay, yeah, he's he's just not going to uh, he's just not going to be cooperative Thanks. at all. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit lost. I don't know what to do. Strange device, the edge, which is where the other path is, the engraving. Talk to him about orbs. Okay. Let's try that. Though he is a bit crazy. I think he'll just mostly talk about how great they are. Brink. I'm worried that these life crystals may have side effects. Oh yeah, we already had we already had this conversation. The only side effect is the envy of people who haven't used them. Have you used more of them? Their effect on health and intelligence increases with yeah, each we, we kind of already hear, heard him talk about that. I don't know what you're doing right now, Brink, but those ghosts had things they wanted us to do, and we need to get home. And you're not doing either one. Yep. What I'm doing is more important. And what is that? But I'll never accomplish anything while I have incessant interruptions. Well, then what are you doing? Of course. Okay, then ask. What's the project you're working on here? Yeah. You're not a scientist. There's no way you could understand it. But you could at least still tell me. Y you don't have to be well, that I kind of person. I can figure out alien technologies, turn the power on, work the tram system, adjust the light bridge lenses, Repair broken door control panels and even resurrect one dead scientist. But no, I'd never understand your work. There we go. Tell him. I know you mean well, Commander Low, but I'm not working at the level of ordinary human beings right now. That means you're crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he. Thanks. Yeah, there's just no way to communicate with him. No way. I think. Hmm, strange device lens. As I said, I keep looking around here, wondering if there's anything I have missed touching. Maybe actually, I can use the flashlight up around here. I can't use these two things together. I can see that there is some energy substance inside. Ah, there's an energy substance. Okay, that means oh, that means I should the engraving thing should really work. Anything. It won't do anything. Ah, you're very all right. Oh, okay. Think. What have we not accomplished? What have we not done yet?
There's the tram. The plateau, which is what we were just at. Let's see here. There's a tram call button. So we've looked at all of the spots that the map can show. Yeah, so we looked at all of the stuff that the map can show. We have... We, we can't figure out how to get into the tomb right now, which is kind of annoying, so I haven't figured that out yet. We've looked at everything at the museum, so the only last spot is this spire. Well, and the spire we can't go to. Apparently... Yeah, this is the uh, crevices. So, like, for instance, there's this crevice here. There's outside. Whatever these things are in the front, I think they're fruits. But besides that... Yeah, there's nothing in the cave. So apparently, I just haven't rubbed two things together yet. There are two things that I just have not decided to rub yet together. And we still haven't figured out what this place is for. I was able to get the silver and the gold scepters from here. But besides that... Maybe I try the tablet here? No. Oh, hey, a crack. I can see outside. Okay, so what is out there? I can't use these two things together. Oh, okay. And yeah, and the button. To, oh, let's try the button real quick. I put the thing back. Yeah, it didn't work. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Hole, hole, trap. Clearing. Maybe... Maybe we head down back this way? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's... We can't go back this way. Oh, a boulder. This boulder is loose. Oh yeah, let's totally knock it over. Hey, there we go. Now we can get back. Okay, so at least I was able to do that. Hmm. Now what? Now what? I guess let's examine these then. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Yes, it, it does. I think both have an electrical charge. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. You're right, you're right, Mr. Smith. They all they do. They do. They always seem to have some point where you just like, okay, is now you know, is no longer making sense. We'll, We'll go ahead and take the blue crystal again, because apparently I don't need it in here anymore. Actually, I wonder if I can rub these together. I don't believe the scepter can power the light source. All right. Oh, it's a light source. I have an idea. Oh, oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, we're going back. If I can use the light source in the... Because he kept saying that it's too dark. So maybe I can use that. Oh. All right, let's get back over to the to the tomb. Let's see here. Maybe I can use the blue crystal here. There we go. All right. Okay. Finally. Now we've got some decent lighting. Okay. Now we have that, we should be able to clear the thing at the top. Engraving, edge, panel. So 
So where's tomb? Okay, maybe maybe we'll just go mess with the hole then. Now we've got some decent lighting. There's light seeping through from outside. Oh well, yeah, there should be a lot more seeping it through. If only I could see better. What do you mean? The lights are on. Okay, maybe it won't do anything. All right, all right anyway, we have. Now, can I use this with the hole? It won't accomplish anything. Ah, uh, okay. Now, well, since we have opened up the or turned on the lights, maybe we can find something around here that we can now interact with. Ah, that still doesn't tell me anything. Light bridge. Not seeing it. Not seeing anything I can touch. Hmm. Oh, I thought so too, but uh, apparently not. I tried to touch it, but I can. Whoa. Oh. The stone is loose. There we go. Okay, if that's the case, then maybe, um... Maybe I can put a... Oh, I know, I know. We can jam it with the tusk. It won't do anything. Okay, we need to open this up. What or... a convenient way to open the skylight. Yeah, but now we need a convenient way to keep it open. It won't accomplish anything. Maybe the rod? There we go. That should hold it. Nice. Okay, we have it. Now that we have the shutter open, hmm. let's go check it out outside. Ah, here, here. Dirt. There's something smooth under the dirt. Yeah, let's... A lens. Light must pass through it down into. All right. It's the lens I uncovered. So the lens. Okay. So what's it look like down here now? Ah, okay. Why does it look like I need to focus it? Hmm. Okay, maybe now I can use the scepters. It won't accomplish anything. No, all right. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. Okay. So, let's see here. Actually, let's look at this real quick. Actually, this might tell me, maybe this might actually tell me something. So we have. I'm guessing this is the for the tomb. This oh oh actually wait wait I just kind of see it now. If you look, this is supposed to be the tomb here. So, if you see, this is a spire. This is um. So this is the spire. What there's the different the four, uh, the five spires and there's the centerpiece. You can see that there's a light apparently shining through. And then here, you can see that this is apparently the rock that is shooting a light out. And if you look over here, there's the rock. So apparently we need to have one of the other ones sending light across, which means it has to involve the spire. So something here has to send out a light. Which means it, it all boils back to this button again. Yeah, all back to this thing. I think this faint light, so that means something has to... Okay, maybe... Let's see here. I wish I could do something with the center thing here.
Let's see here. A faint light. Hmm. Well, yes. Hmm. Okay, what does this say? What What does this look like? Uh, yeah, this doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, that. The, oh. Yeah, this is no help. Uh, no life crystals. I wish I could. These are similar, but they don't seem to fit together. Yeah, okay, so what to do? Hmm. So apparently this is supposed to send a light, a something I can see across. But the question is, is what? How do I activate you? How do I activate you? Hmm. All right, so we we know the we know the end step on where we want to get to. I I can't open. All right. And yeah, that's Okay, so no, that's a no to that. Overlook. Oh, yeah, we were just... Nope, that's not it. All right, all right, so think. We need to... send... based off of this engraving, we need to send a light from here to here through that hole. And the most likely it's coming from that other device, but how do we do that? You can see it's from these two spires. There's a light going through. The question is, is how do we get a light going through there? We uncover the lens. And we opened up that. We can't really touch it. Maybe if we touch the hole. Now we've got some decent lighting. I have a feeling these might be used for later. Oh, how about we? It won't accomplish nope. anything. And maybe Maggie might have something. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robin's here. I read you. Let's see here. Anything? Any new conversation points? No. All right. The map shows secret rooms under the tomb I found. Well, yeah. If the map shows them, they aren't meant to be secrets then, right? Oh, same conversation block. I guess okay. Right. There must be a way to access them. Oh, but the question is, is how? All right. So, Thanks. yeah, she's not going to... She's not going to mention anything. Hmm. I'm just thinking, we... What did we... So these are no longer useful because we used them. I still don't know what that is. We've already used this for trappings, so we don't need that. No need for the shovel. Actually, I wonder if I could use the shovel in the crack. If that might do something. I doubt it, but... At this point in time, we just gotta start rubbing things together. Alright, over here to the crack. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can... We're gonna rub everything we have on the crack. Maybe... See this crack right here. Maybe if we rub everything on it, we might uncover what we want. It won't accomplish anything. You don't know that until you try. Uh... It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. Maybe uh, on the with the button. I can't use these two things together. Okay, maybe we'll use this one then. It won't do anything. Oh, okay then. Then what do we do? We're now stuck again. Now stuck again. 
We have two people who won't talk to us because one wants to one wants to decode a library and the other one has gone insane. And yeah, now I'm just kind of stuck to my own devices to figure out. This one's so close to being completed. Let me look at this. We have four out of the five shooting at this, and I don't even know what that is yet. Maybe something's in the map spire. Into the pit? Anything in... Uh, no, I don't see anything in the pit. See a chamber. An opening. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Is there anything around here, maybe? Ah, nest. Oh, okay. Yeah, this doesn't look very nice. This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. Yeah, this isn't... Oh, a grate. Let's open that up. It looks like a grate sealing something off. Okay. Let's shovel it. It won't accomplish anything. It looks like a grate sealing oh. something off. Yeah, so let's open it. I wonder where we, a beach. Oh, hey, we. I found something at least. We can now head to the beach. Ah, I didn't check this area out yet. All right, all right. So, if, if there's something over here, then that will actually help out greatly. Um, okay. I don't see anything. Oh, yeah, come on. I found something. Why don't I see anything else? Oh, this is a waste. Oh, yeah, maybe in the water. Uh, apparently not. And looking around, and... Okay. Well, we found a location. Nothing in the location. It's, nice. it's fun that it's a triangle. That means that they obviously wanted us to go to the beach. Right, anything over here? I did see something walking in the background, so... Yeah, hopefully we don't come across that. Who am I kidding? That's for that is foreshadowing at its best. <laughs> that is foreshadowing at its best. It's definitely going to show up and start messing with us. How it's going to mess with us, I don't know. Opening tram. Oh, opening. Hey, a new spot. Okay. So what is this? A kind of light that's just on the edge of existence. Apt way of putting it. What happens if I touch it? It won't do anything. A that's kind it. of life that's just on the edge of existence. Then let's take it. It won't do anything. Then let's use a life crystal on it, since you mentioned life. It won't do anything. Okay, um... Maybe if we poke it with a stick. It won't accomplish anything. Then we'll use a rod. It won't do anything. Then we'll use a, a different scepter. It won't accomplish a kind of light. A, a kind of light that's just on the edge Okay. Of Apparently we can't do anything with it. Robins, okay, I found a light. Do you have anything to say? Robin's here. What is it? Robin, I found a light. And you don't care. Okay, never, never mind, mind that. All right. All right, okay, so let's start just continue looking around. So we have a light here on the edge of existence. I have a feeling that I'll have to come back here later. They wouldn't have that there then.
Hmm. That's the ledge. Anything special on the wall? No. Anything special over here? No. Over here? No. All right. Most of these are no's. All right, map room. I already looked at, I already used you, so I didn't see anything. Oh, okay. Hmm. Actually, I wonder. No, I don't think that would be it. Never mind, never mind. Because I was just thinking. If you remember at the picture here, we had a, it shining like this with these two, with a light shining one from here to here, and it was on. And then this is the idea. But I'm wondering if I go and turn off these three, because I can go to the control room. I'm wondering if I turn these three off, if some, if it might have an impact on something. I don't know, but all I do know is is I do not know where what to do right now. I can mess with the bats all I want, but that's not going to solve any problem. Tear lens, strange device. Spire. All right, back to the Nexus. Back to the Nexus. I kind of wish I had that other panel, but I don't know where that is either. We're done with there. I'm going to go try and turn these things off. I don't see it. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. All right, glowing panel. Let's see here. So if I remember, it was like these two, correct? Something like that. Oh. It's where all the crystals meet. Well, I mean, I could turn them all off, but this one's the only one that won't turn off. Interesting. Okay, let's turn them back on. Apparently, apparently what I'm thinking is not correct. Oh, wait. Oh, that's right, so... That's right, that means this one. Oh, there we go, and then... There we go, okay. Next one. Oh, that means... Maybe this one needs to go... There we go. Alright, let's turn this last one back on. All right. Yeah, so that's not it. Ah. Uh, if anyone has any ideas, then throw them my way. Because right now I'm just kind of just wandering around now. I'm trying to figure out what to do. We've done everything out on the roof uh, upstairs. So that's not that. We've done almost everything else I can think of. We did find a couple new places, but they don't really... We can't really do anything there. This is the tomb tram. This is the sealed door. Yeah, I think the... Hmm...
Yeah, it seems like everything we have to do is here on this, these sides. See anything around here maybe that I've missed? Uh, nope. 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 Uh, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that leads us to the clearing. Hmm. Sadly, uh, they not really, as I said, they're not really telling me much. It won't accomplish anything. Then what will, what can I accomplish? Come on, tell me. Okay, there, ha let's see here. But yeah, talking to them won't help either. All right, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Let me look it up. Okay, then. We... Let's see here. It's a dig walkthrough. I think I've looked up... Uh, I think I've come across almost everything. And now we're lost. So... Let's see here. Okay. All right, all right, all right, here we go, here we go. So, let's see here, I'm looking it up. Um, so we did this and this, and we used the tram. Nope, that's not it. So to the map spire. Oh, okay, so apparently apparently I am doing a couple things out of order, at least the, from what this walkthrough does. Let's see here. Walk down the path, there's a cliff, look chasm, head up there, continue, climb up, adjust the lens, continue to the strange device, and hold the green button to connect it. Go to the, to the right, uh, crevice, get the blue rod, walk outside and north, and then it'll have a rodent. Look for the nearest hole, and then capture the robin. Use the shovel to get the parts. Exit, go in, use the machine parts. Walk through and get the green engraved rod, twin scepters, and a plate. Use the gold scepter on the faint light in the ceiling. Wait, I was doing that. Okay, game. All right. Okay, game. Okay. You can't, uh... It's the ceiling of the dome. Okay. It's a depiction of the largest moon of this planet. Oh, hey. Actually, from what I'm understanding, this type of dynamic that we have here, where we have a, a large planet with a moon, with another moon circling it, is almost... It can happen, but it's very unstable, and this small moon will inevitably fly into the planet at some point. This type of system cannot be maintained just due to how gravitational pooling occurs on different planets. But I digress. Okay, now we figured that out. Let's use the other scepter. Oh, all right. Hey, I solved it. I wish the game would have been a little bit more... Oh no, he's opening it up. He's doing it again. You prick. No! Why is that door closing? Ah, oh, that he prick. He didn't steal that part again, did he? I thought I put the thing up to prevent him. I'm trapped in here? No, no, I bet the button works. I bet the button works. Yeah, that's the... Controls still work on this side. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a back back then. Lucas Arts was 
the kings when it came to uh, point-and-click games. LucasArts made so many good games, especially with their engine that they had. I wish they would have been a little bit more clear with... Uh, I had to have missed something. So, yeah, this is the planetarium now. But now that we have the alignment set up... Yeah, check it out. I thought those moons were in a synchronous orbit. Apparently... What could have caused the moons to move? Yeah, apparently they have very, very, very good technology that they can just do that with planets. Hey, statue. You're a very interesting looking critter. Uh, critter. I worry this statue is life-sized. I hope oh. I don't get kicked out for destroying the exhibit. I think I'd worry more about other things. Okay, let's now that see I know what if I'm we... looking for. Maybe I can get this slab out of the way. There we go. Hey, there we go. And now we're going down. Yeah, it's crazy. A bit annoying that 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 was the solution. Use use the things that we got. Uh, I mean, yeah, use them in the same location that you got them. But they did. There were no real indicators about the how to use them. I think that might be the point, though. Oh, hey. Okay. That looks a bit not friendly. Oh, now suddenly we've got guard dogs. Where did he come from anyway? Yeah, where did he come from? Oh, those that's what that those bones are, but the question is is how do we get rid of him? Um Maybe I can flash a light at him? That wouldn't work with this creature. Let's see here. Um, door. Bones. There's still a little flesh clinging to these old bones. Ah, that means it died recently. Hmm. That's, uh, okay. Ah, all right, so now what? Oh, no, no, don't go up, don't go up. Okay. I think um, I might need help with the dog. Maybe I can get help now from Brink. Uh, how's your contraption coming along, Brink? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll find help somewhere else. Oh, how do we deal with the dog? Let's see here. Maybe it's friendly. Let's go over there and say hi to it. Hi, are you friendly? He just rose up out of a pile of bones near the door. After a crystal fell from the wall. Yeah, it might be. Not a bad system of keeping guard dogs around. Even if they die of old age, just drop a crystal on them and there he is again, barking his brains out. Well, actually, yeah, that is pretty... Actually, thinking about it, that's actually kind of what it was like, wasn't it? It won't let me through, though, will it? Apparently, it doesn't want to move, though. Won't let me near the door. Maybe we use the tusk. Here, use the tusk on the creature. On the creature. That wouldn't work with this creature. You never, you never know. Maybe it might want to eat. Um. I know. I know. Life crystal on that one. Yeah, there we go. Now we have two of them. 
Look, it's the ugly twin. Apparently, they don't like each other. Oh. That worked out rather well. That worked. Wow. Okay, apparently, this is one reason why they only have one. Uh, can't get it open. Okay, let's look at the slot. A life crystal fell from this slot and resurrected that guardian creature. Life crystal it back. That could be a really bad idea. Uh, why? Just put one that in. That could be a really bad idea. Okay, then. Maybe not then. How about then we use the engraving tool? Oh, that actually worked. Operated when the engraving touched the slot. All right, all right, we're moving. Okay. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck. The one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. All right. And now that we're here, let's head on through. So th this is a tomb. This is actually quite epic for a grave. Maggie, I found something. Oh yeah. It's far below the tomb, past some pretty ugly guards. A dead alien sealed inside a crystal pyramid. Sounds like they went to a lot of trouble to hide it. Oh Must yeah. Must have been important to them. Don't want Kings. grave robbers. Or it terrified them. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Well... Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. Oh, don't sit. Now, now you make me worry. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. Uh. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? I think I do. Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Which is also a good point. Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. That's why I became a scientist. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close, I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and touch the panel. Looks like a panel. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the engraving tool on the panel. There we go. Hey, alien corpse, how you doing? It's the remains of a huge creature. Time to life crystal. He's very tall. <laughs> I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Uh, Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. The last Let's six we met friends. were Oh, hey. At least it speaks a language. And he's not eating us. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Okay. Who are you? Mm. Why were you so carefully protected? Ah, uh, I'm getting as much. I, this has been a very resound, a very fruitful conversation. Let's say so. Let's ask How a does question. it feel to be alive again after all these years? Uh, I can't believe I said something so lame. It's still hey. Okay, say something profound. I'm and I've got two crew members around here somewhere, and we're stuck here, and we need help. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a jokey comment. Laham 
All right, it was nice talking with you. Apparently. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So oh. long. Oh, hey. I was just about to say what I was going to say. We should do this again sometime. That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh. And he just... I better tell Maggie about this. Oh. Oh, something's happened to Matt. What's going on with Maggie. you, Maggie? Come in, Maggie. Yes? What? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this. Well, take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? Uh-oh. My mind must be playing tricks on me. Uh oh. What are you saying about? Mom, what are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston, Frank, anybody? Oh. Maggie. Frank, come in. Wherever you are, we need you. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to go Something's deal with Frank. To Maggie. All right. Damn. See, this is why you were supposed to hang out with each other. Well, granted, I don't know what Brink would have been able to... I don't know what Boston would have been able to do. Alright, let's go rescue her. I think... Alright, let's see here. We need to find... Well, we know where he is. He's busy trying to mess with his own device. He's pumped up on... Some kind of drug. Alright, he should be over here. Yep, there he is. Working hard. Alright, Brink, we need your help. What are you doing here, though? Maggie's under I don't trouble. Want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Mm hmm Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Boy, yeah, you're... If we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. Exactly. You're the tough guy, though. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. Ah... <sighs> All right, I'm going to have to let's see here. What kind of contraption has Brink made here? Yeah, let's hmm. I wonder how to what to do. Oh, crystal stash. Appreciate your apparent concern. All right, we're going to take the stash and really, force him to help. I'm fine, but please feel free to leave. Okay. All right, I need to get. I need to get rid of him. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Since we see him here now, probably have the bats attack him. Come yeah. On, guys, let's get a look at you. If your parents had died, Brink, then you would have become Batman. No. Go away. That sounded like a stock scream. Oh, I think it... Okay. Good, good, good. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. We're getting the crystals. Let's get the stash. All right. back after you help me I will Brink after you help me find Maggie I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task I yes yeah, those, will, Brink. those crystals have really made you go you crazy these life crystals back you're a miserable bully low says the person who Typical military mind 
pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Okay, good. Now let's go find Maggie. If you remember, I remember earlier we ended up coming across. I don't think it was here. Oh no 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 no! It still doesn't work. Oops. Okay, let me reset this. If at first you don't succeed. If at okay. first you don't succeed. All right, let's let's get this set back up. Oop. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. All right. So what we want to do is we want to go to. Oh, which spire was it? The planetarium spire? No, it wasn't this one. Oh wait, 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 wait. Maybe it was the tomb spire. Frank. Oh, I oh, forget about him. Never mind. Actually, wait. Let's let's go in here. Yeah, yeah, I was right. We want to go back. So it wasn't the planetarium spire. It had. It might have been the tomb spire. Okay, no, it wasn't. It's one of you. The map. Ah, map, map. Yep, here it is. It's the map spire. Okay, into the chamber. Then over here, we should find the nest. There you are. Okay, let's. Maggie, is that you? Are you all right? Oh. Why does this look How like she be all right? giant spiders? She's found up in that web. No, uh, we're trying to see if she's dead, Frank. You know, if she's been hurt or bruised. Robin. Maggie, I'll try to think of something to free you. Okay. So let's see here. It looks like a grate sealing something off. Um, so there's the monster. So how do we deal with that? Smells pretty bad too. It's never good when it smells bad. I don't want to be the one to attract his attention. All right, good. Your flashlight still has a bright beam. Yeah, give it. Here, you take it. Your flashlight still has a bright beam. Oh, all right. Why does it sound like a squealing pig? Um, I wonder what to do. Oh. It looks like a grate sealing something off. I wonder if um. Oh, 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 oh. If I go there, it's lunchtime. His lunchtime. Okay, so he won't let me go that way. Okay. All right, Brink. What do you have? Brink. What do you want to do with this monster? Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. <laughs> the obvious plan is for one of us to distract him when the other one slips by. Okay. You do the distracting. Maybe you are thinking about it, Frank. You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. All right. Carapace, slime faced, mucus brain, furry legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Interesting, um, interesting insult. <laughs> okay. Lol, you idiot! Why are you standing? 
standing there. I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Yeah, okay, alright, let's hurry up. Alright, I have a feeling. Austin, where are you going? I think. I'm over here. I think. Don't leave me. You should probably have a little bit more urgency in your voice. Um, Paul's source. Uh, over here. So what we want to do is want to... Because there's a grate. So if we go into the falls source... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright. Go ahead and push this here. Shovel won't help. What do you mean it won't help? It's a rock. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Push it. There we go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now that's going into the grate. If we go back now, we should be able to... We should be able to wash the monster away. Hopefully it can't swim. Given its size and its body structure, I have a feeling it can't swim. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. <laughs> Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. All right. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster got drink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. Yes, yes. I know. We're, we're here to rescue. The great. <laughs> I think the water I diverted from the waterfall was flowing right to that grate. All right, so now what we can do is let's try and uh, just sh oh, Maggie, Robin. the great. What is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grate sealing something off. Oh yeah. It's a grate sealing something off. What are you doing, Boston? I think the water I diverted from the waterfall was flowing right to that grave. Yeah, we can... So we can launch the creature away. I'll remember that if I need that. Oh, shoot the monster with it. I've got to find a way to get rid of your six-legged bats. Oh, yes. Just try to do it before he gets rid of me one. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall hey. was flowing right to that grave. Okay, now maybe, uh... I can distract him with a flashlight. I don't want to be the one to attract his attention. Uh. Robin. Come on. Never mind. I know the great. I want to get down here now. Come on. Oh, look! It's pretty obvious what I need to do. How do I get? How do I get them to do it? Oh, maybe if I go talk to Brink. Oh, hey, Brink. Brink. Lead him over to the grate. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it. Yeah. Then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fireball. So I said six legs, but I only can count four. This is seriously your plan? you have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Uh, hold on tight. Uh. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. <laughs> All right. Do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. We could use the crystals. Oh, no one's going to comment on that. No one's going to comment. Really? You 
cocoon eating lobster face, cave dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. He is a very wordy, uh, he's very wordy, isn't he? Yeah, I only count four legs. Do you see uh, the other two? There's lava down there. <laughs> well, I mean, Maggie, you made it. Okay. How's my hair? You're worried about your. It's a joke. I was joking, Boston. <laughs> you know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Frank, it's time for us to work together on... Oh. I said give them to me! Oh, oh. Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. Now he has, uh, he has gone crazy. Oh, he has gone crazy. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. And what made stuck you think out. that? Well, the library console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. Dimension hopping. What did they want to come how back? Mu they how much do you bet they ended up in a dimension they didn't want to be? Like maybe the Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic help, Universe. Assuming that's what they want, and they would need us when they got back. I definitely would not want to be there right now. The MCU has gone. Oh, beats me. It has gone nuts. All right, let's go. I think, yeah, I don't have crystals. I think I'm gonna have to go get some more. Let's see here. Why don't we head to this way? Because I need to bring him back to life, but I need crystals, so to the museum. We'll head over here. All right, let's grab some. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. I think we'll take four. There we go, plenty. All right. Now let's head on back. Let's head on back. We have to go to the tomb. Down into the edge, tomb, crypt. All right, I th we're getting pretty far in this. Let's see here. It's quite amazing, actually, to see they tried to do so much. Uh, so much with the with this game it's very it's very ad technically advanced if you think about it lots of 3d elements despite scum vm not having the 3d capabilities so this has been a lot of work around they had to do in order to have that happen if you notice there isn't even proper sprite uh you know shriekage like they don't have like some kind of mode tw uh mode 7 that the Super Nintendo has, which allows you to shrink and grow. Uh, well, actually, I wonder if they do. But the main point is, is this, you can clearly see the sprites lose resolution as they get further away, and then they gain more resolution as they get closer. Looks like a panel. So it makes me quite curious. I wish we could uh, dig into the source code. All right, so let's go ahead and bring our alien boy back. Hey, 
Hey, now he can talk to him. Here's where my alien education either pays off or we die. <laughs> you make it sound like you're going to insult him. As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Pug crush pug. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. Oh. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. Actually, that's very true. Open your mouth, which is speak. Yeah, the, that actually reminds me of... How much you bet the, uh, the writers kind of got inspiration from the old stories from World War II? So for those who might not be familiar, back in World War II, we had to do a lot of... Uh, the soldiers had to do a lot of hiding of information because odds are communications would be tapped and the enemy would be able to get a hold of it and figure out what you're talking about. So one way around that, that they tried to... I think it's World War II. It might have been World War I. It was one of the Great Wars. I remember that much. But what they ended up doing was they had the Navajos, uh, the Indians and the Native Americans in the U.S., because of the fact that their language... The way, that they, uh, the way that they built words with their language was always combining other existing words. It made it kind of like a code within a code. So instead of saying airplane, what they ended up saying was along the lines of the uh, metal birds or the uh, gray birds. The large, yeah, along those types of lines. And by doing so, by having these, uh, the Navajos, these Native Americans, uh, by having them convert co or you know instructions or details into their language and then they sent those through messages it actually avoided being uh, received by the enemies which was germany and having them decode it and figuring out what our plans were so that's kind of what it feels like of it right here uh, at least that's what's kind of reminding me of because here she's having to interpret what they say so, you know, uh, open your mouth, which is supposed to be speak. She's having to convert that layer into something more comprehensible in a different language. Actually, the same thing kind of happens with Chinese. I'm learning Cantonese, so I guess which question should we ask? I'm learning Cantonese, very slowly, mind you, but I am learning Cantonese. And there's a lot of, you know, a lot of words are just combinations of two existing words. For instance, one of the words in Cantonese is bolo, bao. So bolo means pineapple. Bao means bun. So bolo, bao is a pineapple bun. However, what it actually be, what it's actually referring to is how a pastry is baked with butter in it. So a bolo bao is actually a piece of a piece of glazed baked bread with a big slab of butter in the middle. It's a very tasty dish, mind you, but yeah, if you didn't know what that bolo bao meant this particular dish, you would think we were talking about a bun made out of a pineapple or a piece of bread with pineapple juice in it. So it's a, it's, it's a very fun. It's very fun when, when you learn about translation. Let's ask a question. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? That's actually a good question. So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. Okay. Why would you want to be found? Why has your body been preserved so carefully? Since all the evil in this place was my fault, I chose to be its guardian forever. Ah, okay. He just he mentioned evil. I'm guessing it's I know what it is. Why do the museum displays give you so much honor? There was a time when my creations were thought to be good. Isn't that what happens always? Myself, or I would never have created them. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. Ah, so yeah, he he's definitely does not like the life crystals. Apparently that's the problem. We want to go home. That 
That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish, for there is no true home. Oh yeah, home is where the heart is. Eh, I would disagree with you there. Home is where the heart is. Home is where you lay your head to rest. That could be anywhere. Usually it's with family and friends around. The probe you sent out brought us here. We want to go back to our home planet. Another one of our terrible mistakes. Oh. We sent out those probes when we thought we had found the glorious secrets of the universe. Ah, okay. Wanting to share the wealth. Share the commonwealth. We not call them back. Thus, I remain here to warn all those who come in answer to an invitation we wish we had not sent. Interesting. Now, uh... Warning us won't do any good unless we can get back home to Earth to tell other humans. Yep, yeah, that's true. Or... There are two ways to protect your planet. And one is if you return and warn them to stay away. The others is that we don't go back. Is if you never return at all. Yep. Which warning do you think will be more effective? The second. So pretty much he's just telling us Tell we're us going to stay here and die. Earth. I beg you. If my people could return from space time six where they have gone. They would rebuild the starport. They would make a crystal ship, which would take you back to your planet. Okay. All right, so we got to save his people. But they will never find their way back home. All right. I don't think... Uh, let's talk about the monster. The creatures who live here now, did you people know of them, or did they come later? That's a, another good question. Millions of years have passed since then. Okay, it's been a very, very long time. What once were pets or companions have followed their own evolutionary paths. Wait, who would keep a, who would keep a yeah, spider like that as a pet? As terrible, as clever, or as stupid as it was in them to be. All right, so let's see here, dead creature. Who are you, honored one? of misfortune. All right. Please tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes, the creator who uncreates. Quit being yet, poetic. I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys. Look, the we're just asking for a simple name. You're Bob, Jeff. or you're Jeff, or you're Mary. Just give us a name. Exactly. Tell us who you are. What's your name? Once I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. Boy, oh, you're a wordy, you're a wordy bugger. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. And that caused trouble. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies. Their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. Okay. How about this? Why is this inscription in another kind of writing? Yeah, that, that's explain. I did not write it. What do you mean you didn't write it? I would not have written it. I can read it, but the meaning isn't clear. It speaks of something hidden. Wait, is there two is alien races going on here? To my greatest error, the one that condemned my people. Ah, this is to go to the 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 place that he just mentioned. So he said the life crystals are bad. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. But they're very addictive. How do you stop the addiction? What raises the dead? And debase the living. Are there side effects to the crystals? Yeah, they go crazy. I've mean, already what seen the that. Crystals create is not a life, but a slave. 
So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Now you're being, now you're just waxing poetics, you. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. I think... I think the... Like, having a crystal that can resurrect people and bring back the dead, it, it's a great idea. It's great to... I mean, it would be very difficult to figure out all of the, you know, the minutia of it, but, you know, hey, I wouldn't mind having a stack of crystals to prevent myself from dying. However, I think the problem is, is, is that they are very addictive. Like, as you said, the guy, it, it, it pretty much, he's now a walking, you know, he's a walking... Drug addict. What are the ghost suits on? Are they alive? My people all travel to the realm of space time six. There it is, space time the six. Three dimensions of time join to the three dimensions of space. It is indescribably beautiful, but they can build nothing there. They can create nothing. They just exist. On and on with empty lives and hearts that long for this hard and stony world. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess... Hmm. Let's... Metal plates we found. What are they? We have lots of questions. They are authority and power. Each shape has a meaning and when they are fitted together they have a new meaning yeah they make a triangle into a square or a triangle if into a square the plates in the triangle what will happen you will open the door to beauty without boundaries and to trouble without end all right I th is that it Maybe the ghosts are your people then. I think I'm gonna have to ask every single the question, aren't I? To this world is so slight. They can disturb the energy in the air. They can make themselves visible for a few moments. But then they vanish again. They can't build anything here. Well they did give me a thing. They will live forever, but it is not Well, yeah, that's technically true. That it, it is a philosophical debate, right? You can have a, a large philosophical debate there. The language of the library was a great achievement. But yeah, what's the point of living if you don't accomplish anything? It was so clear and surprisingly easy to learn. The greater the idea, the simpler and clearer the language needed to express it. Okay, I think we might have... I mean, we had talked about the dead creatures. We talked about the monster. We can still ask. I think Thank there we go. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. Nope, we're going home. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. But that didn't help us much. He speaks very slowly and clearly. But I'm also pretty damn good. Are you sure we want to leave? He's loaded with information we might need. Oh, that falls. Okay, the fact that she said that means that he probably has more stuff to comment on. Okay, let's talk to him some more. I thought we were done, but apparently not. Apparently apparently we still have to have a brief 
conversation with him. All right, you're awake. Speak. So let's see here. Um, the map helped us find you. Did you create it? Okay, let's see here. It was created by those who now wish only to find themselves. All right, no. If we have the chance to read everything in the library, what will we learn? Let's see here. You will learn all that I and my people ever knew. And you will learn that in the end, we were still the same people we were when we knew nothing. I'm very curious. I want to know what, because uh, clearly she's the one who's using the word. Because again, she's he's speaking in uh, his own language, and then she's interpreting it and simplifying it. So I'm wondering if he actually used the word people, or if he said something else. Have you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Yeah, so you should still have a name. again and again dead. What need have I? For names. My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes and then I fall again. Okay, yeah, that that, that existence does kind of suck. Rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. Then I'm gonna call you Bob. Alright, Bob. There's water everywhere in these islands. Waterfalls, pools, and the sea all around. Yep. What do you have to say, Bob? We love the water. But now my people live in an eternal desert. Neither drinking... <laughs> yeah, he's a very wordy fellow. <laughs> if only they could thirst again, and then drink. If only they could dive into the sea, and hear the roaring... Of the waterfall. Okay, so the monster who captured me. Are there any more of them? Yeah, that's a good question. But he doesn't know what that creature that is. Did not evolve. It was made. Oh, okay. As many of them as are needed. That's uh, a bit. Okay, that doesn't exactly answer the question. But all right. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed that people could walk on light. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. That's super convenient. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. Yeah. I can see that. I, if you were surprised I avoid the trams. Bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. Okay. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? I th An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But I can understand the three dimensions of space. Six, but I'm very curious when they say three dimensions of time. I wonder, I wonder what they're, how they come up with that. But the mind hasn't the strength to see. I mean, the only argument I can think of with the three dimensions of time would be that each each point of space also has a, you know, each dimension of space has an associated dimension of time. Actually, you know, it would be kind of crazy if that was actually the case. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. Okay, I think that might be everything Crystals now. are the second worst mistake I made. Actually... Is it impossible for your people to come back? Here we go, here. I think this might be it. It takes enormous strength of will to leave that place and come back to this one. They have all tried. 
All right. All failed. And now they have been away too long. They have lost the physical memory of how to live here in space time four. Space time four. <laughs> uh, okay. Now that just adds even more questions. Why did the ghost lead us to you? Some of them foolishly hope that if I help you open the gateway again, you might have the strength to lead them home, to let them remake their bodies here. Oh yeah, you should get the. Uh, I can do it. But I am sure that all that would happen is you too would be lost in space time six. Hey, you should still let us try. It doesn't hurt. If we put the control plates in the triangle, what will happen? You will open the door to beauty without boundaries. And to trouble without end. I like the sound of that. Okay, I think we... Okay, now we have asked everything. Tell us how to get back to Earth. I think we already had I beg the... you. Yeah, we already talked about this. If my people could return from space time six where they have gone. Yeah, yeah we already asked those. Okay. Alright, alright. So we've literally talked about everything. So hopefully he will help us now. He'll give us the last plate or point us towards the last plate. And then we can open up the area and go deal with that. Thank you for helping us. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna look. We're gonna look. You don't have the strength to return from that place. I do. Oh, he's not helping us. All right. Well, that's the end of that then. Alright, well, now what? So he's not helping us. I wonder if I can pry the door open. I, I highly doubt I can pry the door open. I need to find that metal plate. The question is, is where is the metal plate? Hmm. Yep, you're right. You're right. That's exactly what it is. He's a very depressed, uh, woolly alien. Apparently, he was probably he probably listened to too much. Um, uh, should we? I don't. I think I'm just going to take ignore Brink. So this is the eye. It doesn't look safe to walk there. I have a feeling that he's been listening too much, uh, you know, uh, emo music. He needs to put down the Nirvanas and probably pick up something a little more upbeat. Let's see here. Um, maybe here at the planetarium? Uh, nope. Robins. Never mind. Ah, uh, okay. So let's see here. Well, we talked to him. I wonder now where. Let's, let's head back to the light bridge. So it was not the map or the tomb. We've already dealt with the tomb. Museum. Let's head over here to the... Oh, I see lightning. Oh no, it's the, uh, it's Loom. I wonder if that is an Easter egg from Loom. Actually, let's go back in here. They're still here, okay. And yeah, we don't need any. But now that we're here... Ah. Huh, I wonder how we can get him to help us. You know what? Let's go talk to Brick. Let's go talk to Brink. I know he's gone crazy, but maybe...
Oh, maybe he is, uh... Yep, there he is. Drink. Okay. Maybe we can talk to him about... Actually, I have no clue. He's he already expressed lots of disinterest in a lot of these comments. Frank, I have to tell you, you're exhibiting signs of advanced dementia. Oh yeah, uh, I wouldn't. You don't tell that to it's someone who. Violent and manic. Uh, th this is the last thing you do. Saying these things to try to gain power over me, and if you don't shut your mouth, I'll shut it for you. Uh, Why do I bother? Talking to you is a waste of time. Yep, I agree. But that does kind of... Alright, we'll have to ignore him. Oh yeah, those... He's become delusional. Alright, so... I have Maggie with me. Yeah, I have Maggie with me, and we talked to... The, everything we talked to the alien... So now I guess, what's the next step? Oh, I remember, I remember. There was a, oh, I remember, I remember. There was a, I think it was in the map location. Yeah, let's head over this way to the pits, to the chamber. If you remember, there was the beach. Maybe if we go there. Yeah, here. Okay, maybe not here. Uh, okay, may yeah, all right, maybe not here. Oh, actually. I'll bet he could give information about lots of topics. Oh well, yeah, he did. He, he we talked about everything. Uh, unless there's new topic right. points, we talked. I think we talked about everything. Okay, not here yet. Let's. I want to climb these rocks. I'd rather wait down here. Be careful, though. That looks dangerous. Oh. All right. I didn't know that that required climbing. Okay, let's continue looking around. So maybe the ledge, the opening, this. Strange field. Look at it, Maggie. It shimmers, but it doesn't seem real. A kind of light that's just on the edge of existence. Something like this. You'd think they would have written about it somewhere. They've written about every other phenomenon here. All right, so ah, come on. Oh, okay, all right. So we know what these two are for. This and this is for the sun and the or for the moon and such. So now these are the things that we have left in hand. Actually, Robin, after showing you, do you have a comment? Uh, the answer is, uh, no. Okay. Never mind. That's the tram. Hmm. We already dealt with the... We already dealt with that. The engrave... Hmm. Why, why? Why do I have? Why do I have a feeling I need to show him something? Because he, it seems like there's still more information I can get out of him, even though I got all the information out of him. Maybe if I show him the engraving. 
But no, uh, I don't think that will work. I'm going to use all these crystals before I, I'm going to have to go collect more. Okay. Speak. How long will you remain here? Yeah, okay. No, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think this is going to work. Okay. Let's see here. We asked about that, 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 and that, and that. We asked about all those. We even were very blunt, and he said, help my people. Thank you for helping us. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, ta talking to him, we've done everything. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place. Yes, we do. I'm playing as a stubborn military man. There's nothing that's going to take him away from whatever he's... There's nothing way that's going to take him away from his mission. Um, okay, I guess maybe, oh, um, hmm. Robins. Question, question. What do you think of our situation now, Maggie? You want the truth, Boston? Yes. I thought I had faced reality when Brink died. But when that monster carried me off, I finally understood what it means to be in an alien place. Nothing here is going to go the way we expected. That's very true. That's very true. There's no guarantee there even is a way home. Yeah, that's, that's also we very had true. Had some help from the ghosts. Help? They have their own ideas of what they want us to do. Which is also very... Well, wow. They don't care whether we get home or not. But I do. And you do. So we're not giving up. Oh, I know. I'll keep on searching and trying to understand. Maybe it's not like we should go back to the library. Even if I die here, I'll at least know something about the place before I croak, right? Wow, talk about being sun. I guess that's a comfort. Being full of sunshine and rainbows, aren't they? As worried as I am for Brink, I can't help feeling a little angry at him. He's wacko, nuts, out of his mind with greed. Oh yeah. He's not himself. It's those damn crystals. Yeah, like a drug addict, he keeps using them on himself. Apparently, he's used quite a few. And when the high drops, then he, yeah, I think, I think the the key is is that you use a life crystal, and then the person should go straight to rehab. All right, let's let's go. Aha, I like the fact that I can skip that. Let's go here. And uh, hmm. Okay, maybe I didn't need to come here. I, I thought maybe there'd be something here that I could go through. Okay, let's let's go back to the museum. Yeah, sometimes these point-click games, they at once you complete a certain task, then you quickly run into a situation where the trail ran cold you kind of know what you have to do but you don't know what's the next step to get it actually you know done for instance i now know i need to open up the eye and i need to try and save the aliens you know all of his friends but i don't know exactly how to do that 
Okay, maybe you can talk to me about this console. A control console. If this is a library, then this must be where you search and retrieve data. And she's not going to comment on it. Uh, okay. For millions of years, I'm a bit surprised this place held up as well as it did. I mean, maybe it's because it's all made out of stone and they're using technology out that it uses stone. Yeah, I kind of thought that the tr the plants would have just taken over everything. All right. I think the only thing I can think of is trying to talk to talk, uh, try and it's not going to work. We can't talk nonsense into uh, Brink, but I feel like that's the only thing I can think of right now what to do. I mean, what else can I say? Or what else can I do? I mean, the alien is not talking to us. Every time I see him coming back like this, I think he went off to go get crystals. Okay, maybe I can talk to you now. About the I don't have time to waste on foolish discussion of nothing. Can you tell me? I don't have time to waste on ah, foolish discussion of I don't think he's gonna to talk to me. There are side effects to the life crystal. change your personality they seem to be making you crazy yes the poor ignorant fools who slog through the mud of inferior mental functions I, how does one talk they to someone like this and call it madness yeah uh, how does how does one talk to a crazy person like this I mean he it's clear that his brain's not functioning properly, but there's no real way to for talk about it. Maggie. You've already rewarded me by being a pushover, Commander. Okay, yeah, he's not going to help us at all. To you as a waste of time. So let's see here. There's a relic. <sighs> all right. All right, no clue. We talked to the alien. He he had his he talked about everything in his spiel. And every time I bring him back now, he will just talk to Maggie. So there's no way to get him to say anything. So okay, I guess I might have to do take a quick peek at the guide again to see what to do. Because uh, I am... I don't know what to do now. Let's see here. What to... Let's see here. One second while I take a quick peek at the, the guide and see, because... We talk again. We talk to the alien about everything. I know I need to help him bring his people back, but oh, okay. All right. I just saw. I just saw what it said. Show the tablet. But I thought now I that did you that. Can read the library inscriptions. Can you make any sense out of this? Oh, okay. How was I going to connect that dot? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. Ah, more advanced text. Got it. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing. I don't know what that was hidden. Any hints about where? In the water, right? On the other side of the hole. Oh, okay. So none may enter. 
Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance. Whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. Hey, you're not. You, you can you can still joke. That means you're okay. Brush with a giant monster spider. You're still fine. Okay. Okay, I think it has to do with the map place. I'm gonna try over here again. If you remember, we found a gear opening. It has to be this thing. It's shimmery. A light that doesn't seem real. Yeah, this has to be it. This has to be it. As if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something. All right. Something I saw earlier. Or maybe I read it. Okay, maybe if I show you again, the tablet. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? Oh right, all right. I think I think we figured it out. It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. Yeah, of course it. Boston. It exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? Yes, what does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I'm glad I'm glad you understand it. Actually, I, I'm glad that you're able to I learn a language so quickly. This. It's taken me eight years and I still don't know Cantonese very well. You, it took you, what, a couple hours and you figured out an entire it's alien so language simple. and can communicate with aliens. If we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. All right, now let's head down. This, this island was brought back from another dimension. All right. This island was brought back can... from another dimension. All right, can I oh, opening? There we go. All right. Oh, oh, the last piece. Exactly what we want. What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Oh. Maybe that metal plate over there. Yes, let's go get it. There we go. That's the fourth one. Mm hmm. Now we can go to the like last the metal spire. plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. Yes, yes, but it will do something. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Robbins. It will do something, and it's having something if happen is better than having nothing happen. Half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific again. You sure know how to make a girl feel good. I think, um... We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Yeah, I think maybe we should just ignore him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. I think that's a good idea. An armed expedition. Oh yeah. There's I agree no with her. T will ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. Hey, he's He's gone crazy. The last You're thing right. you want to do is take crazy with you. Can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. I get I get. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart too. Let's go. 
You know, I'm going to see if I can just ignore him. We're just... I, don't, I think those two... I know that they are trying to take the moral high ground here, but no. Brink is crazy. He has obviously OD'd on life crystals. He's overdosing on it. And it's just not wise to deal with him. So we're just going to leave him behind. Oh, earthquake. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe, can you hear me? Oh, he's Frank, contacting us. We're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arched bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. I think I know where he is. He's probably you on planetarium. You been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Uh... Hold tight? Very funny. Do I have to? I guess I have to. Let's go back. He did ask for help. Uh, I th I'm, I'm on the impression that maybe we could just leave him here and then come back later with others. Yeah, it might be a one-way trip, but it's pretty clear he doesn't want anything to do with us. All right, let's let's go to the ledge. Let's go find him. He should be over at the planetarium, I believe. Because if you recall, see the waterfall. There's a place over here called Crevice, right? Yeah, Crevice. There he is. Hey, how's it go? Your hand is stuck. You just got your hand jammed in the rock. I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. Which is a very good idea. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. I see where the problem is. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here. Even if you have to cut off my hand. Oh, wow. Uh. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Yeah, if his hand is stuck, really... I mean, look at the... Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. Yeah, but it's in a rock. And... It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. Yeah, and again, look at the sh look at the layout of the rocks. Like, there is no way. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity, and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off, then. Apparently, he really wants it. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us. This may be the most horrible. Well, do something, Commander. Do it now. All right, then let's go with. Well, I guess we're going to have. Hey, we have a sawbone. Maggie, you might want to look away. You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? Teeth are razor sharp. How did that not cut put holes aesthetic? in your pants? Do it, Commander! Man, he is freaking out. Wow, I, I understand getting your hands stuck. Brace yourself, Frank. But he is he is really, really freaking out. I 
I can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. He's turning I'm paler fine, and paler. But I need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. We think it's going to take us home. You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. Yeah, he, get, he's an addict. What if we can't come back and get you? He'll be happy with his life crystals. Do you want to stay here forever? Well, yeah, with his life crystals. It's pretty obvious he's... Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. But All right. It's pretty you obvious. Agree we have a deal. <sighs> all right, all right. Does anyone else see this as being a, something bad's going to happen? I can't help but see this and go, yeah, something is something bad's going to happen. Because it's pretty obvious this thing's. The where it's positioned, it's not going to send us anywhere. That do, it. do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. Patience. That's not exactly nothing, Brink. Yep. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? Again, this is... See? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. Uh, he is definitely insane. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to bring him. Is that your opinion as a journalist? This is why I said we should just leave him here. It's my opinion as a sane person. He didn't even want to bother going through the door to see where it leads, so it's pretty obvious that he's insane. Anyway, anyway, we'll just ignore him. I mean, with the way, with how he, yeah, with how, uh, with how he's been ta acting and how he's been talking. I think the last thing I would want to do is try and get him to go home with us, because if this is going to be a very long trip back... I mean, granted, we get, we went from Earth to here very quickly, but you never know about the other way around. It could be a very fast one way. So, having him with you for any length of time with the way he's thinking is a still clearly a very bad idea. Oh, hey. I saw something like this in the museum this way. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? It opens up space-time. Do you think it might send us home? Right now, it's doing nothing. All right, let's open it up. Oh, hey. I think we put Life Crystal here, right? It doesn't seem to be missing anything. It's a row of crystalline devices. Nope. Maybe we can turn on the console? Actually, that would be a very good question. Since Brink is acting insane... Oh. Oh, yeah, I need two. Oh, and I'm missing... A, there's Looks a gap like in the machinery. Missing here. There's a gap. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have to find out where that is. Let's start touching things. That seems to be doing our best to do. Yeah, with Brink. Because he's going, he's going insane and his hand was caught. I don't think we could have left him there because, as you mentioned, cytokine, necrosis would come in, would... Oh, fun. Cytokines uh, and the, uh, you know, necrosis could have potentially happened. He could have gone into uh, a shock uh, if we had uh, managed to undo the, his, the compression on his hand. But at the same time, I think that was a great way to contain him. He does need to be contained. Oh, hey, alien device. I don't know what to do with this device. All right, let's go out. I hear seagulls. Oh, I wonder where... Th It'd be very strange if there's creatures on this planet that sound just like seagulls. Ah, here. I just found seagulls. Let's get rid of the nest. Come on. Sorry, bird. You'll have to find a new home. There we go. Anything over there? No. Okay. All right. Let's turn the device on. Hey, it's all connected. Nice. Nice, it's all connected. Let's head to the center now. There we go. It doesn't look safe to walk there. What do you mean it doesn't look safe? It doesn't look safe to walk there. Well, whatever it is, it looks like a door that we can pass through, so... Actually, you know what? Let's go back to the... Let's see here. Let's go back to the museum real quick. Maybe we can still grab a life crystal. Yeah, there's still plenty. Perfect. We need, I think, three or four. We'll take four, just in case. There we go, perfect. Robins. Oh, oh. Never mind. Let's head on back. Back to the... There it is, the Cathedral Spire. All right. Down to the lab. It's a lot of strange objects. I think we'll have to mess with them in a bit. Let's go down and add in the life crystals into this device. I wonder if... I hope we just need two more, but it looks like there's a missing piece, and I wonder how the missing how we use the missing piece. All right, life crystal. There. That doesn't fit here. All right, so now we have that. What next? Maybe this. It won't do no. anything. It looks like there's a part missing here. Question is, where is this part? There's a gap. All right. We have the life crystal set up. I do not want to go back to Crazy Man. It's a row of crystalline devices. Oh, um, strange object. All right. Controls. Maybe we, if we touch the controls, maybe. I don't know how to work these controls. All right. All right, Maggie. Oh, let's push the alien device here. Maybe we'll have to talk to her in a second. I don't know what to do with this device. All right, Robbins. We've got to try and turn on the inventor's machine. Yeah, how do you do it? 
It's the only way to find out what it does. What do we do? Search all these islands for a part when we don't even know what it looks like? Uh, Where are all those helpful hints now? They're the on the internet. Were about things they deliberately hid to keep them safe. But this missing part, what if it was stolen? By who? By or just what? corroded away? Then all of this would be for nothing. Boston, somebody knows what the missing part does, and maybe even where it is. Well, I don't know. I wasn't talking about you. Uh, let's go back to the alien. I was talking about somebody who was sealed in a crystal pyramid. Yep, yep. I agree. Thanks. Let's go talk to him again. All right, let's see here. And there. They look like pelicans, kind of. Tomb over here. Robin. Oh, get out of the way, Robin. I'm, Never mind. I'm trying to fast track it. We need to talk to the fluffy, depressed Star Wars alien. Let's head on over and see if he will be friendly. All right, here we are. Now, let's see here, Mr. Man. Be nice and tell us how to work you your machine. Two things together. Oh, yeah, you just won't accomplish any. It's the remains of a huge creature. Uh, okay, I want to use it on the panel. Panel. There we go. It's a good thing I have grabbed life crystals. If I have to bring him back, he must be very, very annoyed. <laughs> oh, if I was him, I would be very, very annoyed. Like. These people won't start resur stop resurrecting me every ten minutes. They come back and bring me alive again. Okay, alien device island. The island we found. Where was it hidden? It left this reality, but only a little way. Hmm. It can come back because it never fully lived. Ah, okay. The island moves in and out of our reality. How? It loses substance with every passage. We thought we could take our world with us into space time six. Ah, oh, that was an experiment. It could not be done. I get it, I get it. They were hoping that because they liked space time six so much that they could start moving their planet over. So they tried it with a island and it didn't work, so. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. All right, well, we opened up. All the lights are shining now. Does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. Yep. We opened the it up. The eye sees into all space and time. And where the eye sees, the mind can fly. All right. So tell Is me how to turn it on. Is this into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... Do you think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. 
I'll, I think that's the problem. I see. I think that's the problem right there. They uh, they stayed too long. You know, you, you're supposed to hop in and out. You don't sit. You don't go in there, have a picnic, and then decide to leave. That's too tempting to not come if back. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. Yeah. So let us do that. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Exactly. Here, here. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I don't think wiser. I will tell you how to find the piece I hid. If you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Okay. So where's the piece? Please don't play any more games with us. I'm not jumping off a cliff to get it. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Quit speaking in riddles already. You said that people will die. We yes, would get you warned us. Yeah, exactly. Now where is the piece? See, she gets it. Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. Oh, hey, finally. I have said enough. Okay. Thank you for helping us. Okay, so now we have the map with by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place. Aha. Uh -huh. I fig I figured it out. I figured it out. See, he keeps talking about how smart every uh, his species is and how strong his species his is. And then we also you know, they keep talking about intellect. We just need somebody who's an idiot. Someone who cannot appreciate space time sex. If they go in, of course they're going to come back out because they don't understand it. There we go. We figured it out. Be a moron. You'll save save an alien race. Actually, it'd be kind of funny if that's actually the the uh, that'll actually be kind of funny if that's the actual answer. <laughs> Our protagonist here is too dense because he's he's not a scientist. They've already established that he's a military man. He knows how to survive, so he has very good skills in that. But he's not thinking about you know the. The movement of the planets and the stars, or he's. Never mind. I almost fell asleep. Now the game is. Uh... Now the game is. It's entertaining, but it can be a bit. Uh... It can drag a bit. Oh hey, the creators. All right, so what does this look like? So we have. A hexagon, a triangle, a diamond, and then a cube. Red, green, red, blue. All right, let's go. This should be red. This should be a red. A red diamond. Okay, let's just do the red ones first. Red diamond, red cube. Uh, Sorry, red diamond, and then this is a red diamond. There we go, and then this one should be a hexagon. There we go. And then next on the list is a green triangle and a blue cube. All right, so this should be a green triangle and a blue cube. There we go. Nice. Ah, I know that spot is. So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. Let's see here now. The question is, is how do I get back there? I think. Oh yeah, I remember. We have to go to the. Um, 
Isn't it over here? That's the way to the beach. So it should be over here, I believe. Yeah, here. Be yeah, here we go. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. I part. Aha, we got it. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. Nice. All right, nice. Now we're getting close to the end. Okay, so now what we need to do is let's head back to the area. We'll head over to the cathedral. And down to here. Let's continue going. Oh, hey. It's taking... The game took control. I can't control it. Crystals can one man use? He's Not addicted. I need them for my machine. For science. Research. Give them to me. Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking. I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history. All right, you're a military man. You should be able to throw him around. He's supposed to be a scrawny scientist. You could pretend that... I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. Again, you're a military man. Share anything, you know. I took them. Uh, it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. Uh, you would have tried. Exactly. You're a military man. Kick his ass. But a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he? Ah, okay, now we're gonna have to deal with him. It fits, but the machine still doesn't work. Yeah, because he took the... Did the alien lie to us? No. It's it pretty obvious. We else. need life crystals. Alright, I think... Alright. Oh, okay, well now we need to go back and deal with Crazy. Let's go deal with him. We need life crystals. We need to go get those back. We shouldn't... Again, he's crazy. He's very obviously crazy. You, my friend... You could have easily thrown him to the floor and knocked him out. Put him in a, str a stranglehold. Or better yet, I have a I have a crazy idea. You could have, I don't know, killed him and then brought him back to life with the crystals later? Because it's pretty obvious that he's a crazy man. Okay, so we need to go back to the tomb.
Get away from here! I won't let you break my life crystal machine! We don't want to break anything. No, we don't. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, gloat if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. I think I know what it is. I think I better go get back and get it. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lowe, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you've robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. That's some. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Uh, yeah. Don't joke with him, Boston. Okay. Let's. Okay, let's go back and get the uh, part. I think he needs that part. Let's go get the part. Yeah, you should have. You should just off him. I mean, again, if we're going to go based off of the logic that we know, he's in the military, which means he's been most likely been in war. So he should be used to neutralizing people in an excessive manner. Here we have a crazy person. And I mean a really, really, really crazy person. It's pretty obvious that the crystals have warped his mind. You should neutralize him. And then once you can figure out eventually how to I not guess make him go crazy, way. then you can bring him back. And if that's not the case, then at least you don't have someone who could potentially murder you walking around. Oh yeah, we just sawed his hand off, Mr. Smith. We did that a little bit earlier. Because he was trying to get a life crystal. Now apparently he is, um... Yeah, he has, he has gone full-blown addicted crazy. Hopefully these things don't have a... You know, because with most narcotics, you get the rush, the high... But the, because of how biology works, you will eventually hit a point where your body will acclimate to it, and it will no longer start feeling that rush. You could, usually, it's associated with like they usually like to say it's associated with a dopamine rush. So he feels great, and he feels like he's never felt before because he's been resurrected and he's using these life crystals, which means these things keep giving him an extreme dopamine rush. They keep giving him a. A uh, uh, high. But as I said, eventually his nervous system will go, I'm getting too much dopamine, I'm going to shut down. And thus it will start pulling back those dopamine receptors, the dopaminergic receptors, and then you'll have to ha take more life crystals or more drugs. And it'll just, this cycle will just keep feeding to the point where eventually it will no longer do anything for him. Go away! My work is very important. I can't possibly understand what I'm doing here. Uh, um, I thought that giving it to him. Brink. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. Okay, I just have to talk to him. Okay. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Fair enough, fair enough. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Well, 
We can have a, you're a great example. Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. Again, he's getting All you high. care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it. I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. That's true. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? He's crazy. He's not going to take it. If you have the missing part, yes. He's crazy. He's not going to take That's it. my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. They are finally. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. Finally. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Oh, okay. Got it. Get your missing part and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain, as long as they watch each other very carefully. Hey, at least he's including himself in there. Half the life crystals, Brink. Remember? You don't scare me, you hairless monkey. Hey, you're also a hairless monkey. So you're technically insulting yourself, but... Hey, uh... I just don't know how yet to link them up. I just don't know how yet to link them up. What do you mean you don't know how to link them up? Just put it in there. Do you think we should try this part in the eye? It needs the part. Yeah, I know. I get the feeling the inventor didn't want us to do this. There it is, slot. Okay. Of course we should. There we go. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens designed the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Be patient. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Suits me fine. We split them 50 50, right? Of course. 50 50. Oh, it is. There's one. And another. Two. Is that all? Just two? I need more than two. I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Oh, no, don't do that. He's going to get... You're going to piss them Don't off. Touch them. 50 50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. Uh, he's crazy. He's going to think it's you're backstabbing 50 /50 him. 50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't going to let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. Produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. 
You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth... <laughs> ...or you can stay here, take the part out of the eye generator, and put it back in your own machine. Ah, <sighs> okay, fair. Uh... Just have a little patience. Again, you're trying to talk to a crazy person. It's not... It's probably our only chance of getting home. Okay. Well, we know what's going to happen, so I'm going to take the eye out. No! My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Brink, please. We don't have to fight. Again, he's crazy. We can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie. Maggie telling. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too. Brink, don't make me hurt you. No, hurt him. He, he, he needs to. Dead. Ah. All right. Frank. Oh, man. So much for Please that military. Mar what hurting? was that? Anyone you just let him dead. knock you over and you got knocked out. He must have not been in the military for a it while. Wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake? By activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. Yeah, that's... We've got to do anything we can to survive. All right, then let's, let's head on up. Trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. It doesn't really have much to eat. die than stay here. But there's a problem with that logic. As the cr the creator had mentioned, the architect has mentioned, activating the eye takes us to space time six, a place where you literally cannot die. You're just kind of trapped in limbo. So if we go there and activate the eye, you said that it's better than dying. Well, technically you won't be dying ever. In fact, I think the thing is, is that the people are trapped in space time six. The aliens are trapped in space time six so long they want to die. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I think, I think the idea, the idea of, you know, oh no, I'd rather die than stay here. Let's, let's go to space time six. There's a bit of a flaw in that logic. Either way, let's go ahead and activate our device. Now for an alien species, there's a lot of questions. Like, why didn't they send a probe? The alien was right. This thing has already killed one of us. But it's back in place. Well, technically, he wanted to die because the he... Crystals Brink died for. There we go. Okay. So now we've done that, we should be able to start touching things. Let's turn this device on. It's a row of crystalline devices. Okay, so maybe we can touch these things then? Maybe we have to go touch the button. All right, let's head on up. They look like spaceships. More controls. I don't know how to work these controls. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to have to get Maggie. I 
don't know what to do. Okay, Mag. Robbins. Okay, it's all in place. I feel like I'm just what he called me. A traitor. A liar. <laughs> you were dealing with a madman. You were trying to save him, too. Do you think we should try this part in the eye? Yes, let's get it started. It's probably our only chance of getting home. Probably not, but uh, I don't think it's since it's the eye to space time six. It's, I highly doubt it's going to take us where we want. But if we can help the aliens, then I think that we should You're be able to do something. Person. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. How, the though? The warned us it might cost us more than we expected. I mean, what is that? we kind of need to know what the danger is. For instance, just turning on the machine if it releases tons of radiation, like that that's a different kind of danger than, you know, a giant tiger coming through the door. I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. See? It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. See, see? Big problem. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. Okay, so which one is it? Again, this is this is the point. What is the danger? <laughs> We're gonna make it home together, Maggie. If it says it's dangerous, we kind of need to know I'm what the danger is boss. before you change the state that you found it in. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just. I mean, we don't even know if it's in a benign state right now. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. All right. Don't revive me. Uh, that's... After seeing what happened to Brink, it makes logical sense. Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. Yeah, and that's... I don't want that to happen to me. That's a fate worse than death. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. Alrighty. That's an easy promise. And vice versa, okay? Now you tell me the truth about Easy Sergeant promise. Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm going to be really ticked off, Maggie. Oh yeah, if it is a lie, yeah, then I know. If it's a lie, then I might have to break the promise. Here we go. Okay. It's actually a rather complicated machine, isn't it? like three control panels. Oh my. It's stuck. I'll have to pry it open. Um be careful. Uh this looks dangerous. What did it do to you? <laughs> you knew this would happen. The eye. It worked. The 
Sky is restored. Worth it then. Go home. So apparently it did take her the life out of her. Alright. Liar. Let's go up there. Ah, okay. I guess let's go try and go rescue everybody. From space time six. They better be worth it. Oh, hey. Oh, oh no. Oh. Apparently they really don't want people to... I should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Can we... How about we do this? I did it earlier. If I turn that off... Oh, no, 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 not on the light bridge. Where's the lens? I don't... S okay. Okay, okay. Oh. He's on a light bridge. If I can turn it off... Let's see here, light bridge, lens. There it is, lens. Let's, let's change the lens. Here's the lens that shapes the light for the bridge. Yeah, turn it off. Switch Here's it. Here's the lens that shapes the light for the bridge. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Maybe if I touch the strange device. There we go. Okay, okay. So if I touch it again, it should turn it off. So let's try and let's try and get that. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Touch the device. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Let me give me the mouse. There we go. All right. Aha. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will uh -huh. get out into space time six. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. All right. Let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So here we are. Yeah, this just looks kind of... I kind of knew it was a pathway. I guess this is the real test. Let's go on and... Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Again, you're not smart enough to appreciate it. Be proud of that. Can I go into space-time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. All right. Oh. Okay. So apparently... Yeah, Alright. I guess we have to head into the portal. It's beautiful. A guy could get lost here real easy. No. No, I'm not going any farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped, human. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway, human. Hey, we're you bringing everyone back. All the pathway back to light, to reality. All right. To a place where we will someday die. But we will have a life before we die. Yeah, I definitely don't want to use the crystals. That's not a good the idea. Past and future. I can see them all, but which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. Hey, he's out. All I 
I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Are you going to pull them from different from different realities? Wait! Don't go back there. I have brought you a gift. Okay, and how Man. did that happen? Frank, you're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Okay, I have lots of questions. I have lots and lots and lots of questions. Maggie, I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. If we can do this with resurrecting people, why don't you do that with your people? Well, they keep getting lost, I think. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. But you look old as balls. What happened to you? You did it, Lo. No, it was our friend here. You look like a zombie, my friend. What happened to you? It belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you there. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people, strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you. And you have much to share with us as well. Hey. There will be friendship between our species forever. I'm yeah, until one of you, until we'll, well, well. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. I was just about to say that. All young species are alike that way. Boy, I, don't I can't help felt though, like we were just insulted. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. <laughs> well, that... How okay. Are the ship is almost ready. I mean, they are Go quite and big, and it's like... It's, been accomplished here. it's like a walking buffalo, kind of. Uh, a Telling buffalo people, on two legs. That's Maggie's job. And getting us home? That was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston Love. Hey, he looked normal now. I wonder... I wonder what happened to him. Wait, they only have one finger? They only have two fingers? It must be really difficult to, to do stuff with. Yes, yes. I agree, Mr. Smith. Frank, he, he, uh, he ended up having a, uh, he realized, he figured out what it meant to overdose on a very potent drug. But hey, we, we beat the entire game in one day. Nice. Just needed to look up two points because these the points literally are yeah you know, the points literally at a dead end and 
So we had to look those up, but besides those two little points, we actually did it. All right. Oh yeah. EMI record. Oh, that must be the music. Oh, the scum system right there. You can see it's uh, Pat going up right now. Scum system. That's the engine that the game runs on, which it's been out for, for almost forever. There's a lot of news persons. Wait, they had... Ah, okay, okay. Those are the different uh, voice actors. Compatibility testing, fun, QA. He definitely got high on life. You're right. I should play that game at some point. High on life. Yeah, yeah, again, again. Apparently, I, I saw it at the very early on in the game. Apparently, this is based off of a concept that was developed by George Lucas. Or sorry, not George Lucas, Steven Spielberg. Oh, oh, you be quiet. It was based off of something that came up by Steven Spielberg. So that's very, very interesting. That means it was kind of a high a Hollywood type of... The story has Hollywood fingers in it. And it can you can really kind of tell. I think that if this was more of an action-based or action-style game, you could definitely see the points where you would have a lot more action, but for point and click, it's quite good. Oh, these two. Manny Martinez, Melinda Miller. <laughs> they have the alliteration going on, the double M's. It's a shit. Oh, a novel. Yeah, they have a, apparently they have a novel released. To the eternally patient. I have a feeling, I have a feeling these are family members that were quite uh, agitated with them. Ghosts of Diggs past. Okay, what are the, all right, these are, these are interesting, these are interesting credits. Oh, will you be quiet? Stop barking. There it is, see? Steven Spielberg, George oh, Wasp, George Lucas and Spielberg. Oh, it's a combo. Steven Spielberg and, and George Lucas apparently were involved with this. That's where I got... Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, it's the uh, scream. All right. Wait, did the game just close itself? Hi, it, it just closed itself. Okay. Well, it is a it is an old DOS game, so they did they did tend to do that. They did tend to do that back then. Okay, let me let me get the scum engine loaded again. Oh yeah, Scum VM is a fantastic interpreter for the for the games. Yeah, this is if you ever want to play old point and click games, the Scum VM is the way to go. Pretty much it interprets all of the code needed to run the game, and it works exceptionally well. And here you go, right here, the dig. It was actually, I actually have, it's a lot of fun. As I mentioned before, I ended up playing this back when a friend gave it to us. They gave this to us as well as Star Commander. 
yeah, I believe Star Commander. And then over time, I fleshed out my, my collection. So yeah, the dig. Yeah, yeah, it, it, since George Lucas was involved, I'm not surprised. So let's, let's hop back in real quick. So this is very much like a penultimate. Ah, that's funny. This is very, very much like a movie. Okay, let's see here. We want to... Let's try and land this first. This, I'm surprised that they actually added this. Uh, I'm going to land a lunar lander. We have, we have just enough fuel. Oh, it requires an awful lot of fuel. Oh, 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 no, 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 wrong way, wrong way. Oh, we're gonna grab, okay. There we go, oh. It's not easy to land, man, it's not easy to land a Lunar Lander, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Damn. Exactly. Okay, let's try this again. Oh man, the velocity is going quite high. Okay, I want to slow down a bit. I could just stop this from moving. There we go. Oh, oh, I think that's good. Oh, 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 oh. we're getting close. I want to keep this in like the millimeter range. Come on, we can make it. Come on, we can make it. The there we go. Has landed. All right, we did it once. Okay, I think that's I think that's good enough. But yeah, that's the dig. Great game, as you can see, it's very fun. Nice and short, so you know. Nice and short, so you know, you're not putting in a hundred of hours just to get through it. And it's there's a lot of interesting stuff in it. I think I think we ended up touching most of it. Yeah, I think we touched most of it, but there's still a couple things that we missed here and there. For instance, there's a lot of conversation pieces we missed. And there's an awful lot of things that we could potentially look at that we also kind of just glazed over. But for the most part, yeah, there it is. Fun, fun. All right. Oh, oh. So now... I guess we'll say it, call it a day. I was thinking, I was planning to play other games, but this took a little bit longer than I thought. So we'll have to play more games tomorrow. But anyway, it's been fun. It's been fun. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Oh. Oh, shh, my dogs are, they've learned words and they're being nuisances. Yeah, I've been playing for six hours. We'll have to, well, all right, yeah. see you later, Poppy Boy. And everyone else have a good one. Have a good morning, have a good night, wherever you may be. Have a good one. Laters.